and only have a little bit of milk duds in the bottom of each. There's just hardly any in there. <laughs> oh, those raisinets? No, milk duds. Oh, milk duds. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Raisinets don't do it for me anymore. Yeah, the, yeah, the box backwards, and I couldn't read it. Yeah, well, okay. So here comes Bob. <clears throat> All righty. Yeah, I missed you guys last week. It was it was intense where I was. Boy, let me tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't uh, see or do anything. Oh, what is the heck? What the heck was that? There's a quickie chicken, something, yeah. You know. Sideways. Yeah, I was kind of jealous of the La Brea Tar Pits. So I've always wanted to go there. Jeez, it's... Well, you know, it's in California. It's... I know, I know. I've been to Southern California a hundred times, and I've just never... Baby. <laughs> Little baby. Uh, I'm trying to get them to go to bed. <laughs> Sing them a song. No, I kidnapped their mom, and then she they they, they usually come over to. <laughs> Oh, Did you say you kidnapped their mother? My goodness. See, there's, there's she. Oh. Talk to him. Come on. Are you talking about me? They're, bu <laughs> they're busy eating a piece of squash. Well, I mean, oh. I'm trying to edit a video. Oh, hello. Well, he's got a good too. My cats are asleep. Uh, do you want to say hi? Oh, who's that? This is Star. Hi, Star. There's chickens on the Star. Is it here? <laughs> Star's giving you kisses. Hi, Star. <laughs> Where's your cats? Oh, My cats are all out in the barn. Oh. Here comes Carolyn. I have one asleep over here. Oh, look, there they are. There they are. Star, do you see the birdies? You don't care, huh? Oh, look. No. No, don't care at all. Yeah, I'm going to put you down. Hold on, you're tangled up there. Oh, aren't they cute? Uh, be right back. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm running out of milk duds. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Crisis time. Oops. I'm trying to edit a video as I. I was all done. It was all ready to go. And then I realized I had a tiny piece of the video it was showing the name of the person. I blurred everything out. And then I labeled her screenshots with her first and last name. And so when I put the screenshots up, the screenshots showed her last name, first and last name at the very top of the screen. So I realized that at the very last minute. So now I have to edit those all out. And I'm so glad. Well, yeah, I'm glad that you figured it out beforehand, huh? Yeah, I, I was like, oh my gosh. As I was showing the third third one, I said, oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, go out of oh well. Okay, so it's almost done. Anything else I need to add? Let me just sit this so I can save it. Okay, so there. I hope I don't make a lot of mistakes because I'm trying to do it in a hurry. Oh, look at them. There's a whole bunch of them. All right, let's put that in here. Yeah, there's there's six babies. How old are these? I get two more left. Um uh, five weeks on Monday, so they're they're almost six weeks. Oh. They're cute. 
So you enjoyed the Sacramento thing, Lee? Yeah, I really did. That was a lot of fun. I, uh, I guess this was the very first one they've had in years with yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, in person, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was not a huge turnout. I think there ended up being eight people, but... Uh, oh, who showed up? <laughs> who showed up? I, I am terrible at names. I would uh, recognize uh, You're supposed to know these things. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I was down at one end of the table. I was only talking to a couple of people, but uh, I know um, one of them happened to mention, oh, well, you know, have you ever tried that uh, trivia? <laughs> and, you know, I said, yeah. I, I oh, oh, was I, it? Who was it? Who said that, do you think? I, don't remember and I, I think maybe maybe some of the Sacramento people now will decide that they want to try trivia I don't know was it uh, a male or female male Asian Paul, Paul or... Lee. I mean it could have been a Raymond well, and there was only I can find the pictures Well, I'm glad that they're doing it again. Um, we're going to try with the um, atheist group and the soccer, uh, the Stockton area. We're going to try and do something at least every other month. Uh, right. Skeptics together. And I talked to a few people last night. We're throwing out ideas of what we'll do. So. Speaking of people. Well, apparently your oh, group's a whole lot. Look, there's Romero. He's been everywhere. <laughs> hey, how are you? How's your foot? Uh, it's, get, it's getting a lot better. Yeah. What do you do? Are you still are you still having to put it on that little cart? Uh, no, I have. Uh, I I can take it off right now. Let me. But I have a a boot. Booty. <laughs> oh, annoying. Those are not fun. Oh, yeah. And he has a second floor. He's on the second floor. Oh, that. Oh, no. Yeah, up and down. No. I also have crutches. I have crutches. No, bueno. Uh uh. <clears throat> no fun at all. Oh, man. So, no, did I you have a know. trip of a lifetime there, Romero? What'd you think? Even though you had a, you were a trooper, at least as far as we could tell from the videos and the pictures we saw, you were okay. Yeah. I mean, you busted it up, but you guys did good. What'd you think? Uh, it was, it was a very, uh, I don't know. Like, I'll, I guess I'll remember this trip for a long time, but it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it was very terrible. It was a terrible trip, to be because honest. Because of your foot or other reasons? Um, just a lot of stuff went wrong, like our flights were delayed, uh, you know, the bike crash. Uh, uh, oh, and I, I had to get a root canal. Oh, while, you were, while you were on, while you're out? Well, my 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 tooth started hurting. Um, I think like four days before we were getting back, and it just got worse. Uh, so, uh, um, like on our way here, we were trying to look for a uh, emergency dentist to see what what could be the issue. So we 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 landed in uh, in Raleigh like in ten a.m. in the morning, and we just went straight to the dentist. We didn't. We didn't go home. <laughs> well, at least you didn't have to have it done in Idaho or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's awful. I'm sorry, that's not. Fun. Was your was you, did you like your little caravan thing? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, although uh, like sleeping, sleeping there and then having to shower like in campsites with the crutches and and all of that that made it more difficult. And Faith and, uh, was doing the driving right after you hurt your foot. Yeah, <clears throat> that looks scary. I mean, just I, I I drive a small car, and then to all of a sudden have to drive something big—that's intimidating. Yeah, and I I was gonna do all the driving, but uh, <laughs> didn't do it. But I would yeah, I would wake up and my hands would hurt from all the walking and the crutches that that we were doing. So I was just counting the days when when we were gonna get back. I'm like, oh just three more days. Just I just need to last three more days. 
I guess you always have to have a plan B and a plan C. <clears throat> the pain. Well, this, your next track will be much better. You can't get much worse. Wait, I shouldn't have said that. No, don't say that. <laughs> no, no, we don't say that. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Thank you, Rob, for doing such a wonderful job last week. Mm, have you? Did you watch it? I have not finished the last two categories. I didn't even want to take a peek at it, but I looked right now and I said, oh, man, I don't want to even know what they were. But yeah. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good I evening. I saw a lot of Kyle this week. That was really fun. We got to hang out a lot. So I heard Kyle had to go buy shoes to get it to a hoity, hoity toity place that wouldn't allow your uh, your normal shoes in. It's like wow. That's right. Yeah, I had to go get me some new shoes. Wow. I have a picture of those shoes in a box, and I think it's funny. They just tell their own story. I made a comment to Susan that you know uh, comedians and whoever go on stage to be hosting the Emmys wearing sneakers, and yet that club won't allow you in with those kind of shoes. Wow. Well, I didn't slap anybody, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe you should. Oh, look at the chickens. <laughs> so that was fine. Hi, Ron. <clears throat> it's good It's good to see you guys' shiny faces. And look what we have here today. We have another Susan. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, we're going to have, and maybe the other Susan will show up and we'll have three Susans. Yeah. Hey, that would be nice. This is Susan and Lane. Lane is a professional uh, trivia player. Uh -oh. He's going to be really sadly disappointed. <laughs> what, what, so professional yeah. means you get paid. You get paid to play. They trivia win. Games? They we their team them. wins every uh, second place every week. Wow. So what do you guys make? You make it. You paid off your house yet, or get all the <clears> free nobody people. close, close, yeah. close. Yeah. So Susan and I were talking last night. Susan lives in Santa Cruz, but she comes over to Monterey, which is like an hour. It's like 500 hours to come <laughs> over because the pizza is so amazing in Monterey. I'm yeah. not kidding, am I? I'm not kidding. No, no the she people goes, are amazing. Oh, right? yeah. Right. We ran one guy off last night. Susan did. The other oh. She never, she scared him off. And the guy went running. He had his hands in the air. He's like, oh. <clears throat> we did. She ran somebody off last night. Susan? Yes. Well, they'll fly up. Watch, they'll fly up into the box when they get Okay, here we go. So we have a chicken hour or something like that, Lane and Susan. So watch, check it out. Here's these chickens. We've been watching his chickens be born and chickens being raised and chickens, chickens. What are they going to do? They're going to jump? Hey, I have a question for Rob Palmer. Rob, can you hear me? Uh, I can. Who's talking? That's a good um, question. I'm Susan McLean. I'm oh, hi, you. Susan. Hi. Um, hi. Hi. I was hoping to watch your uh, Recovery from Religion Monday evening talk. And for the life of me, I cannot find it online, uh, not Meetup or anywhere else. Where can I so find that? You, you mean the link to the, so, so you can join the meetings live on Monday? Right. I'll, I'll put the link in the chat. Oh, wonderful. Great. Is that available on Meetup? <clears throat> um, it's not a Meetup thing. I see. I see. But it is. I'm going to give you the direct link. But you can go to the the button which says see our meeting schedule. And uh, every Monday you'll see the meeting is listed, uh, which you can click into. But I'll, I'll give you the direct link to the page. Okay. And, thank you, know. you very much. Okay. I'm I'm doing um something. Yeah, I used to watch those talks on Monday nights, and you had so many wonderful speakers, really great folks, including Susan. Susan, <laughs> Susan Gerber. Yeah, yeah, I have been there. Yeah, I used to be the uh, speaker series coordinator for the Sacramento group, and oh, cool. uh, yeah, and so I got several speaker ideas from your monday cool. in fact j just yesterday i got approval from two other speakers and i'm going to suggest it to the people who run the rfr meeting and uh people here know their names uh mick west and eugenie scott yeah yeah yeah, yeah great folks mick is in high demand these days think you can get um, yeah he said yes yeah both of them said yes 
Because mm. kind of e it's kind of easy. You don't you don't have to travel anywhere, and it's in the evening when most people don't do this. So. So Lane, why does your shirt say Stephen on it? It says Stephen Piscotti, Oakland A's. Ah. It was free. Oh, hard <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> you don't you don't have people coming up to you going Stephen. No, but his <laughs> his name is is uh, sideways. Vertical. Vertical. Oh, we just couldn't see that from here. Yeah. yeah. Here's your link. Okay. So, Susan, I put the link in. That goes yes. to the page, and every week it's updated with the uh, the upcoming meeting, although they usually kind of tardy. So the meeting that's listed is last Monday's meeting. They haven't updated it yet, but it's the same link every okay. week. Okay. Great. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate okay. that. And if you've missed any, if anyone wants to know about this, if you want to see any of the 130, they've had a lot of this. We've been doing this almost as long as Susan has. Uh, since the pandemic started, 139 right now of, of the guests that we've had uh, speak, wow. and we've recorded them all, and most of them are now up on YouTube, and that's the link for the YouTube playlist. Cool. Susan's there, Kenny Biddle's there, um, let's see, who else did we have? Nathan Lentz, you know, people I've invited. Um, Stephanie Kremmer talking about QAnon and uh, things like that. And right. I've given I've given four talks on different subjects of critical thinking and psychics. Right. Good. Oh, look at there's Peggy. I wait until you're blowing your nose. Yeah, thanks for that. I love you, Peggy. <laughs> How are you, Peggy? I'm good, thanks. Where's um where's George? He's on the couch waiting for somebody to walk by so he can do that. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> I Cindy, we missed you last night. Yeah, I just was still trying to get over that gastroenteritis. Well, Susan here, the other <laughs> Susan that's here right now, we had some some guy show up who wanted to have conversations with skeptics. He had no idea what a skeptic was, what we would be talking about. He says he's never spoken to a skeptic before. And he sat down, he was listening to us talk for a little bit. I had explained a few things to him. He ate a salad like what? within about three minutes it was a giant salad and he got up and he says this isn't for me i'm out of here Boom, <laughs> out door. it was interesting i don't and you know it's not that hard you know look us up my gosh it's not like we keep have secret meetings or anything well no. we do sometimes sometimes but um uh, yeah i wish the amway I soon enough right <laughs> what we didn't bring out the amway products <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wanted to sell Tupperware or something. He wanted to buy some Tupperware for a miss. I don't know. <coughs> hey, Jane. Hi. How's it going? Where's your Where's your elite castle or whatever you always have for us? My what? You usually have the background with your where you're I, at your state. I know. I got a new computer and all my backgrounds are missing off of my Zoom oh. now. So. Hate when it does it's that. my real it's my real home that you're seeing well that looks <laughs> pretty green outside the window that's fine yeah it's nice yeah just say it's a different angle from the, <laughs> from the this, is my, house yeah. this is my real home too it's called earth there you go see this is great okay so we, we ready no we're not quite ready so here comes kevin so there'll be a bunch of people the last minute i i had paula just said she showed up <laughs> she she'll be here so how this is going to work lane and susan is as i'm going to emphasize over and over again this is social trivia so we have very weird rules and the rules are that what are the rules guys um <laughs> we made them up so <laughs> has anybody ever bothered to write them down no okay it's it's Okay, um, so what's going to happen is <coughs> we have five different categories tonight, and the categories are going to be by five different people who are not, most of them are here now. They each have to write a category, 10 questions. The first four categories are 10 questions each. The last category is a bonus made up of 10 things. And they ask the questions and then we go into breakout rooms and 
your breakout rooms are about four to five people in your breakout room. Each week it changes to different people. So you're forced to interact with people from where other places. And then what happens? Then you come back and then you're able to, you know, get the answers. Um, what am I missing? Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send you to your room so you guys have to come up with a really interesting, fun name. I like names, your team name. I like team names that are punny, but I like things that are something that has to do with what's going on in the news. That's kind of what to say. Come on, you guys can jump in anytime. Hi, Jamie. Hi, good morning. How are you guys? How is tomorrow? <laughs> beautiful. Just Friday's beautiful. We went, we went snorkeling. Yesterday, just got back. <clears throat> Jamie's in, in, in a small island off the coast of Thailand. Yeah. So he's telling so we us went, tomorrow we will survive. To, to be beautiful day today. But the um, but the coral, we're trying to rush to go snorkeling because the coral is starting to get bleached from okay. the heat. Mm. So, yeah, we're trying to go snorkeling as much as we can before the bleaching gets worse. Mm. That's beautiful. It's only... um. To rent a boat, a private boat, to go out to the islands. It's only ten dollars an hour. Oh wow! Wow. That's it. So it's very inexpensive to go snorkeling and diving here. You know your first stop, right? Oh, okay. Um, Sounds fun. You just loaded. Okay, and Gail, you are third. <clears throat> and Rob, you are no Carl. You're second. Kevin, hi Kevin. You're fourth. And Ron is bonus. I right? thought I was bonus. I know. Hello. Did you see me winking? <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> so, and Ron is in bonus. Hi, Mike. Hi, Bill. Hello. Hello. How's the East Coast? Uh, Bill, Mike, are you, uh, everything okay? What? The East Coast is okay? It's hanging in there? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm okay. I mean, I've got, uh, People I know who got a little flooded, but. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have anybody in Vermont. It's just weird to think there's some place in the world that is raining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan's over there right now in New York. And so he was in Swago and I guess the next town over, which is Mexico, New York, um, Route 104 washed out. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What the heck? Isn't there somebody in charge we can talk to? It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My friends who live in Vermont. Got to ask, talk to Al Gore. You know, I, I work <laughs> at ABC News and I'm at work and I'm like in the control room watching the nightly news. And like I see suddenly they're doing a story about Vermont and like some of my oldest friends who live in Vermont, one of them who owns a store, they show up on in the news. I'm like, oh my God, I know, I know her. Wow. <laughs> I call my friend later. I said, "Hey, you were on our show." Oh, interesting. Hmm. Luckily, luckily they sort of planned ahead and put all their product in the store up on high shelves and didn't have too much damage. But it's pretty bad there. Yeah. Hmm. Wild, just absolutely wild. Okay, so it's six thirty. You guys ready? And we'll be joined by other people, so don't freak out that it seems small. <laughs> So Susan and Lane, it looks like everybody knows each other really, really well. It takes a couple games and everybody does seem to know. But some people have been here forever and some people have just been here a few few weeks. And so you guys don't be into the in-jokes too much because I don't want Susan and Lane to feel out of like they don't know what's going on and everything. Give them a week. Also, Lee is learning how to use Zoom um, as a co-host for the first time. So be nice to him. All right. Let me put you guys in some rooms. Um, you're going to come back with a team name. <clears throat> let me let me sort you guys really quick. Jamie's first up. Carl. We think I spent so much time with Kyle. This <laughs> we think that it's possible that I might actually tell you guys apart. We think we're not quite sure. We'll see how I do tonight. Carl and Kyle. It depends yeah. if they're wearing similar footwear to one another. <laughs> and then Lee, you are in room five. <clears throat> so where are you on the screen? 
inside joke. So for people who don't know, Kyle was invited to the Magic Castle and they freaking wouldn't let him in with his shoes and he had to go buy shoes to get into the place. I, I am in disbelief. I'm not in disbelief. What was wrong with his shoes? They uh, they weren't considered dressy enough. Wow. Yeah. Fascist magicians. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was saying, people host the Oscars wearing sneakers. Are you kidding me? You can't go no. to the Magic Castle with sneakers. It is a big deal over there, let me tell you. Holy crap. Hold on a second. Um, sounds like a magician's I got a photo check. for you. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. Share screen. This is what Timothy Caulfield wore at the last TAM. On stage. <laughs> oh, those are, those are nice. There we go. With no socks. No socks. Hold it up. No rolled up. socks. <laughs> and, and Dawkins wears two different color socks. Yep. No, they wouldn't let him in the Magic House. You know, Mark had Although, a... the, the award for best footwear at a uh, skeptical convention. There you go. I do. Oh, I do the, the pants that Dawkins that Susan? wearing. That Susan? That's not Susan, no. <laughs> Keep guessing, <laughs> though. Don't tell us yet. Were, did Dawkins wear Dockers? No. no. I no. want to know... Why is it that Carl has these pictures so we're, we're learning about ready Carl to tonight. go? <laughs> all the, all is it a the, fetish the, the you have? It'll be 10 minutes from the first time Kyle mentioned footwear. So I found them. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we go. Do we have um, pictures of the shoes that Kyle was wearing that weren't appropriate enough? That's what I want to say. Yeah, I have a picture of those. They look like They look like so the magic castle for those of you guys who don't know it is it is you have to dress up. No, the, no. I do think that the women are getting a little bit casual. The dresses that I when I used to go were a lot more fancy than and there's a lot of fancy dresses. I mean, there's stuff you'd wear to a wedding or like like as a bridesmaid or they are um, Ooh, bridesmaid. cocktail yeah. dresses or anything. There's something like that. So that's normal. But they're getting in it more in dresses, just like a dress. Like Has a, it always been like that? Because I'm pretty sure I went there in 1978. And back then, I didn't have any fancy clothes. I think it's always been that way. You might have gone in on a day that didn't have... Um, there are times I where they let people in that are not... That excuse me, excuse me, I'm... excuse me a second. Ron, you don't have any fancy clothes now. Well, now, yeah, now, but I haven't tried to get into the... Uh, okay, here here right are right. the famous shoes. Hmm. Mm. So so how did the, how did the uh, decline go? They looked down and just shook their head or what happened? Oh, no, I think she enjoyed it. What? <laughs> what happened? I got like a little lecture and then I had to go get shoes. <laughs> what was the lecture? I, I really want to hear just How like the dare day you fit. approach us wearing this like what no no yeah it is a private club we got standards here we're gonna wow. need you to go find some Do they have shoes. bowling alleys wow. in there <laughs> <laughs> well, she pointed me to the right place she's like you got the marshals just down the street no problem and they and the, at the door they have jackets and they have ties so if you come in without a jacket or tie but no shoes they can't they can't loan you <laughs> like bowling alley they can't loan your shoes huh? I'm having trouble with fancy shoes and marshals in the same sentence. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Well, we told we told Kyle all he needed was a black marker, like a magic yeah. marker. Yeah, he he yeah. got rid of the white around the outside. That probably did it. Fine. That might have done it. Yeah. The Dagla so, weren't shoe like. I, I went to the Magic Castle once, also when I was young, probably you went? Late, late teens. They had one in New York City. I don't know if it's still there, but it was no, a special. They don't have a Magic Castle in the New York. It City. was like a New York. It was a New Year's Eve special thing. So we paid in advance and yada yada. And I don't remember any big deal about the clothing. We have a White Castle. No. Uh, <laughs> Hi Ben. Hi Jordan. Belly burners. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Come back in a minute. Oh, I've minute. been kicked what? out of a, a White minute. Castle too, but for different reasons. <laughs> I'll put you guys in a room. Hold on just a second. I'm just counting people. Three. Okay, doggy. And I'm going to put you over here. Ben and Jordan. One, two, three. Okay, I can put you there. 
Mm, maybe I should put you. No, because they're going to leave. Yeah, right. Okay. So let's put you in this one. This makes more sense. I want to be in the best room. <laughs> the room you're in is the best room. Okay, Susan, okay. do you see that you've been uh, I've sent you to a room? Uh, not yet. Okay, it should be there. It should say Susan Gerbic has invited you to room three. Just want to remind you guys that you have a new uh, player in your room, Susan and Lane. So, um, Susan, how comfortable are you using Zoom? Uh, pretty good. Okay. So, if you mess up, it's your guys' fault. So I'm explaining it to them. Okay. Just letting you guys know. Okay, we'll be happy to welcome them and make them feel comfortable. Okay, thank you very much. Make sure they know the rules. Thank you. Okay, um, all you guys. Let's get out of. I don't, I don't think I ever saw the warning on that one. <laughs> oh, you know, I forgot to update my uh, my my thing to get it stuff to stay in chat. <clears throat> oh, that's right. We got that issue, huh? Yeah, that's right. There were the there was a new update since last week. I don't. I wonder if I did it. They had um, my computer got restarted. I mean, not restarted, but um, they had their it re it updated. It gave me so I don't know if it came in there. Deborah says she'll be here in a few minutes, and Paul is here. But we're not team. We only get three people. Oh, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I'll be there soon. Hey. Okay, so we'll be up to three and a half then. All right. Good. <laughs> okay, so this is a highly um I should I should explain. This is a highly yeah. uh insult Susan kind of this Susan kind of thing. <laughs> and I'm fine. I can take it, no problem. I have ban powers. So so it's not so bad that I can't handle it because I can just evict people. It's fine. I can take it. I can. I, I can do it. So, all right. Looks like you can also apparently make people replicate because two Paulas now they look exactly There's the same. Two Paulas and two. What's seasons. going on? I don't see the one for Paula. I don't see it. She's on her screen's closed. Oh. So my not showing your screen. All right. So let's get our team names, and we'll get started with this. I'm going to put. Paula right here. And well, we're in last place. we're in last place. So do we get Paul Paula? Or we're not all last in place. last place. Just started. I will put Deborah. Or is that a prediction, Alan? <laughs> well, it's it's the last it's week consistent. we earned that that position. <laughs> He's just playing the odds. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Deborah over there. I'm gonna give you I'm going to preemptively give you Deborah. All right, Alan. Thank you. No, no problem there. Okay. So team number one, who shall no longer be called team number one, uh, Ben and Jordan, Jamie, Jane, and Robert. Who are you guys today? It's Putin declares all Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO membership. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Carl, Kyle, Mike, and Peggy. In Putin, Russia, jogging up steps on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we come up with something on Windows, but I guess, okay. Um, Alan, Bob, Gail, Susan, and Lane. We are Make America Think Again. That's a good one. Just like Gail's hat, which uh, is red, but she says it's blue. <laughs> That's it. It still looks red to me. It's so weird. And it's still very, very blue. Yeah. Oh, there she is, right in the middle. Oh, that Not looks black red. to me. Yeah. It's navy. Navy blue to me. We, all right. So, oh, there it is. I can pop out that. Next, Cindy, Kevin, Ron, and Paula. 
Um, Vermont petitions the government to sell water to California. Put it in the chat, please, so I can know I got that right. Vermont, Vermont <laughs> needs to sell send water to sell water to America. I mean, California, America. This is lost my milk beds, you guys. Mm -hmm. How tiny it is. It's trick or treat size. Well, it was a big box, but fun size. Mm -hmm. Got that? You got that, um, Sydney? Yeah, I'm. I'm almost done. So okay. Vermont petition government to sell water to California. Bill, Carolyn, Lee, Faith, and Romero. Mm. RFK says water makes you gay. <laughs> oh, please! Did he say that? That's only if you're a frog. Please, he didn't say that. Oh my gosh! It's only a matter of time before he, he says did that. the chemicals in the water. I googled it. Oh, yeah. fluoride is it fluoride? Oh no! Really serious? Probably yeah. Really? Yes. The forever chemicals. Oh my god! Yes. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, so Mark is on his magic class. He's teaching magic class tonight. So we're going to have Hamilton decide which is the winning team based on your team names. All right, wait, wait. Hold on. All right, so the teams tonight, Hamilton. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the teams tonight, Hamilton, are you paying attention? No. Um, Putin declares all Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO me membership. He's not impressed. <laughs> in Putin, Russia, oh wait, in Putin, Russia, jogging app steps on you. I don't think he likes stepping on people. Make America think again. Vermont that? petitions government to sell water to California. Kind of likes that one. How about this one? RFK says water makes you gay. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. All right. That is our team names tonight. They will be competing on our July 13th, 2023. We have a few more people who will be joining us in a few minutes. But as you know, we don't wait for them. We just go. So here we go. We have five contenders. Oh, and thank you guys last week. That made me laugh so much. I've almost finished the, the, the event. I felt so sorry for the team that has, like, I think it 10 points last i checked it was so sad and the whole and it, all five teams all it was, five games yeah it was really interesting so uh i was could, listening could to read, it hmm? could you read the signs yes i loved the signs i thought that was so sweet you that guys was, that was karen's that idea. was karen's idea she is super sweet i got yeah. i got almost done i've got the last two categories the category <laughs> bonus to finish and then I'm done. That was. Really oh, you're gonna love the bonus. Substitute. Let's you will that. love the bonus. Oh. <laughs> I glanced at the I glanced at the category names. I didn't want to know them, but I glanced at them. Uh, but I've forgotten them already. Something to do with TV, I think. <clears throat> so no time travel. Oh, well, I'm so glad you didn't know what was in here. Thank you so much, Rob. You came up with all those categories and you ran everything. That's a lot of work. These are a lot of weird, these are these are a difficult group of cats to herd, and you did a really good job. Yeah, but it was a small group of cats, so that made it easier for it some reason. It was really strange that it was so small. There's only a few people had permission not to be here tonight. So <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on, but they were, it was strange. Okay. So, uh, black yeah, it was really strange. I brought a put few on, Magic Castle, but it, not all of them. Hmm? Put it on their permanent record. Okay. Well, it's already the there, absence. so we'll see. I'm waiting to see if I had extra permission nope. slips. I'm still learning to, to go through these. So here we go. We're ready to start. So Jamie's going to lead us off. Let me give you your permissions, Jamie. I'm a little slow today. I am uh, on all sorts yeah. of things at once. So here we go. You are. I'm going to need your. Don't forget, I need your help because I have an iPad. You're going to need my help flinging you from room to room, right? Um, I'll try it. Oh, yeah, the software, the Zoom up, just updated for iPad, so I'll see what happens. It's one of my favorite things to do is throw people from room to room <laughs> whenever they are completely unaware of when they're about to move from room to room. I love that part. All right, Jamie. Okay, you... are you all set? Yeah. Paula's avatar hey. is, flip, is, is freaking me out because it doesn't blink. Come on, get an avatar uh, that blinks, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> see, my, my avatar blinks. See, see, I can blink. 
I, can I just saw hers blink. I think hers is, yeah, yeah. Her, I had the video turned off, so it just is the static. Ah, avatar. that's what was going on. Okay, either that or she's just not blinking ever. <laughs> it's so I was thinking, she scares okay. me sometimes. Okay, everyone else set? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my category is corporate logo trivia. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Is everybody muted? No. Who's got the mutation mute? powers? Lee has got all the powers. So if you want to, uh, he, he's hey, mute everyone? learning how to use Zoom. Okay, let me know when everyone's muted. I'm Lee. trying to figure it out. <laughs> tell them. Participants. Participants. The bottom. Mute all. There we go. There you are. And just so you know, you're not included, Lee, at all. Okay. All set? Yeah. Away we go. Okay. Number one. Make sure I get this. Okay. The Dutch East India Company, founded in 1602, was an exceedingly wealthy and powerful quasi-governmental organization, eclipsing all of its rivals in Asian trade, up until 1799. Its famous and highly recognized three letter logo was one of the first multinational corporate logos ever and appeared on ships, forts, building facades, swords, cannons, dinner plates, coins, and elsewhere. What were these three letters? Number two, <clears throat> in 1956, my father, Fred Knapp, a TV and movie commercial artist in New York City, was instrumental in designing this famous television station logo, used to usher in the new colorized TV era. Name this logo. Well, we know your sister is going to get a point tonight. Yeah, I think she will. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really fair. That's all right, we can live. Uh huh. Number three, a large double-sided sign featuring the logo of an oil company overlooks Kenmore Square and Fenway Park in Boston. What brand is represented on this sign? And if you've paid attention, I've used it as my backdrop sometimes, but I won't tonight. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> Everyone knows. Number four, since 2013, the sum of all the dots on a Domino's pizza logo is what? No way, really? Yeah. <laughs> Plus my zero. Is that a conspiracy? Uh-huh. Number five, how many different colors are in the Google logo? Number six, in 1846, the Church and Dwight Company created one of America's first brand logos based on a symbol of the Roman god Vulcan, demonstrating strength and hard work. Its products are made from the mining of Trona ore in Green River, Wyoming, Name the brand. Oops, hold on. My iPad fell down. Hold on. Okay. Okay, number seven. This company logo employs Hermes's foot. Name the company. Number eight, in 1985, Walt Disney's world famous castle logo made its debut. 
This was known as the Silhouette logo and consisted of a stylized castle image above the words Walt Disney Pictures. How many flag turrets does the Disney castle have in this logo version? Plus or minus zero. Ooh, plus or minus zero, cool. Plus or minus nine. <clears throat> okay, number nine. Oops, what happened here? Oops, let me do that again, hold on. Oops, touch screens don't work very well. Okay, hold on. Try that again, here we go. Okay, number nine, since 1924, MGM has used live lions in their motion picture logo before switching to a CGI one in 2021. According to the website, mgm.fandom.com, how many different live lions were used in that period? And number 10. Oops. No, no plus or minus on that either? Nope. Zero. Zero, plus or minus zero. Okay, number 10. This company's logo features a galloping animal, which is in the scientific classification family of Cerverdi. Name this company. Okay, folks. Very good. Okay, so if you guys are having problems with your um, uh, keeping the, the questions when you get into chat, Somebody hopefully will have them. If not, I have all the questions and I can repaste them. Deborah's here. I'm just stalling, waiting for her to come in. Good job, Jamie. I don't think we've ever done, we've done logos before, I think, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I don't know. But I think I can, I can send myself from room to room. I think my oh, Zoom will do oh, it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'll watch you see that. Hi, Deborah. Okay, so let me put her, let me get you guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And put Deborah into her team. One, two, team. Your team name, Deborah, is Make America Think Again. Oh, perfect. And Paula, you are going to go into room. Vermont petitions government to sell water to California. Okay, and what was the reason for that name? Because Vermont is flooding. Oh, okay. Okay, Susan. Can you send me again? Oh, there I, I see. Okay, Susan, you see you got uh, invited to go to a room. You're going to make America think again. Room three? It's probably underneath something. Should be a, a notification that come up on there. It said, Susan Gerbic has invited you to, it's underneath something probably. They're somewhere. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah, it hides underneath things. Okay, so all is as it should be. The disc Dutch East India Company? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. Dutch East India Company. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere. <clears throat> Highly recognized three-letter logo. Uh, D-E-I. Um, Die. D-E-I. Like somebody ran through all the three-letter combinations possible. <laughs> well, I would assume something would... Or so is it words get rid of the drop the Dutch and it's just the East India Company? EIC? That could be. I, I have no idea. What do you guys like better? I mean, that's kind of giving the answer away in the question, though. But, I mean, I don't know what else it would be. Right. So, Jamie, you shouldn't stay here because you'll see this in the recording. And the other groups are the ones you can't see ever. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, NBC Peacock makes sense. NBC. 
I, I, I don't we know. We just don't know if we're being descriptive enough, but he said, he, he mentioned before you joined that he like looking for the specific name, but I'm like, it's the NBC logo. Like I've always referred to it as the NBC logo. We know it's a peacock, but national broadcast. Always been, yeah. Rainbow peacock. Yeah. We want to put Kevin into room four, right? Uh, Do we want to say EIC or DEI? Die. I don't know. I yeah, think you should go with EIC, but I don't right. think that's right. It doesn't right at all. I don't know. But so, logo of an oil company overlooks Kenmore. No idea. Well, if it's a large double sided sign, Oil of a logo company, isn't that like the standard or Amico or what does a double sided have to do with it? I'm just he's got his face is out of the stadium and in the stadium. What does that have to do with the company it is? Oh. I've seen Kevin's back um his thing so many times. <laughs> Me too, and I don't remember it. I mean, I don't know. Exxon. Um would it be cheating if people just start writing down things that people have on their backgrounds? Well, it was uh, done in the past. He's not using it tonight. Standard oil? Standard? Yeah, he's like standard oil, but I don't know if it's that one or uh, Exxon Mobil. If it's the one I'm thinking of. So, uh, Jordan's pretty sure that um, the sum of the dots, it's three and two. Oh, God, I, I thought it was five and three. Is it five and three? Five no, and I'm three. Just, I'm it just might be guess. five and three. I, I, I got the feeling it wasn't that empty, but I didn't remember. Uh, sure. It's pretty empty. It's pretty red yeah. and blue. I know that one of them is three, so you're right on the three. Hmm. So you think but, it's five, Jordan? Yeah, because two and three, the sum of all the dots, five. Okay. I don't remember. I, I, don't remember I know well I've seen it a bunch end. of times, but I don't remember yeah. how many dots. So I, I'm good with them. whatever we whatever the group decides. So I don't, I have no idea what it even means to Google logo. Why is Jane so quiet? Because before you got here, I said that I have no idea the answer know. to any of these. Well, you know, Sometimes. when you just go to Google, the default word Google, and it has multiple O's in it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, how many colors are in that? Oh. Because uh, the different, um, the different O's are different colors. It's not five then. I was thinking of the six. circle Google Chrome logo. Sorry. The so Google logo would then just have four because it's yellow, it's it's yellow, red, green, and blue. Those mm -hmm. four colors specifically. I know because well, I had yeah. to look at the Google thing every day for school. We would always use Google, Google Chrome, whatever. Yeah. Okay, go with it. But do we also think of good. that's the different O's, but I mean the rest of do do we count the rest what of what about white? What yeah, about the white? white for the rest of the letters? is considered a color still. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I think maybe five would be good, a good number. I thought that uh, each letter had a different color. Uh, are, are the two Gs the same as each other? No. That, I'm trying to remember. I, I sort of think they're all they're all primary colors though. There's not, I don't think there's like yeah. a pink or purple. No. Nope. Nope. So. There is green though. It's. Yeah. Green in the there Google logo green. and that is not a primary color. But yeah. yeah, it's mostly primary colors: yellow, red, and blue, and then there's green. And, Wait, yeah, why is right. green not a primary and color? White. And then white. Poor Bob. I um, think it's red. seven because if you count white. Seven. Yeah, we're counting white. But what would the other two be? Do we think each one's a different color? Uh, each letter. This says how many different colors, though. So would that count letters that are the same color? Are there letters that are the same color? I always thought they were different colors. Well, but like uh, Rob brought up a good point. Are the two Gs the same color? I think you were the one that mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I really want to look at the Google logo, but and are the two O's the same? So yeah, you know, I have that, it on then, then it would be four. But you're not counting white, Rob. This so. Why would I count? I'm just as two Gs, so that Gs is one, O's is another one, L is one, E is one. That would be four. And. Oh, so why consider it a color? I think the two O's are different colors, though. Or right, then that would be five. So let's leave five. Yeah. I say, yeah, let's just stick with five. We may be five. off, but okay. Uh, six. Let's see. Roman God Vulcan. Is this for a tire company? Because, you know, I don't know, Firestone or BF Goodrich or thinking of that. 
Okay. I just want, I wanted to clarify to everyone on number seven. Number seven is the company logo employs Hermes's foot. So it's exclusively Hermes's foot, not the whole body and other things. Yeah, I got just that. the foot. So okay. we have a, we have a question on five. Does white count as a color? Um, yeah, of course. Well, well it's not, not of course because white's not a color. But yeah, five. Uh, so all right, we're going white. It's fine. Well, I don't know is white a color? Yeah. No, is technically it's not. But um, okay. But if you're counting it, then you should tell everybody that that we'll put yeah. the number. And then we'll say if white is also colored. Red, orange, green, blue, indigo, violet. There's no white. Sorry, white is all the colors together. Yeah, it's not. Just use the rainbow. Is that in itself a color? Because you no. mix other colors together to make. No, it does not. Well, black, it does, white. It doesn't trigger any of your rods God, or cones. Skeptics right are so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so black, six, white. six. Does anyone have any other ideas besides tire company? It was like Vulcan rub, vulcanized yeah. rubber. So we're thinking tire. something like Firestone. I mean, just because Vulcan, vulcanized rubber is what they make tires out of. Uh, 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 but other than that, I have no real guess here, and I could be totally wrong. So you're saying it's what wrong? I was thinking tires because you make it out of vulcanized rubber. How? What is Firestone? It's, the name and brand. Uh, what else? What else are the tires? Uh, Anything older than Firestone? Because this, this again, was 1846. Jeez. Bridgestone. That's another one, Bridgestone. And I don't I don't know which ones are older than others. I don't even know if it's tires. I don't know. Okay, do we know which uh, who uses Hermes foot? I think it's FTD. FTD. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I think I've seen it before. I just couldn't remember. Does, does it have wings on it? Yeah. Oh. Wings. Call. Okay. How many flag turrets? No idea. I thought it was just like the one in the top, but I could be wrong. I, 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 I just one is going to be more. I, I guess three, one in the top and two in the two, sides. And but, then, yeah, one each side. Oh, oh when, yeah. But, how, but this is. I don't know. Hmm. It's a, just a guess. Okay, so this is in the past, right? Uh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. It says this version. I don't know how many different, how many times it's changed. So. Yeah, I mean, they still do that. I mean, I just recently watched the Disney, and it starts with the black silhouette with the, the castle, and then it turns colored. Yeah. At some point, it is the silhouette. I, I you're thinking, yeah, one in the middle, and you're thinking like one on each side, right? Yeah, just for symmetry. Yeah, that's about. Yeah. All right, we'll go with three. Yeah. No, I, right, so. I, I cannot believe he didn't do a plus or minus on this. Why? I know. Because it's 100 freaking years. How are we supposed to know? 100, 100 years, how like... long does the average tiger live? We can, we can, or lion, I'm sorry. Can, we can, I guess, uh, come up with a good captivity, estimate. Captivity, like six years? To... But they probably wanted one that looked kind of similar to the old ones. I don't know that they would have used it from, like, in, infanthood to, you know, geriatric. Right. Uh, they may have changed it I would think they would use one five, for just, years. like, two or three years. Right, that's what I'm saying. This has to be a huge number. I don't understand. Oh, why are we thinking like 35? No, 40? Idea. I mean, I'm thinking we'll never get it because you're not going to get it exactly right. And there's a large number probably. So they, well, so unless, let me get totally clear. Wrong. So they filmed the lion. And then the next movie they made, they filmed another lion. Why didn't they just cut yeah. the old lion out and put it no, in? No, well, I, I think because the technology improved and they had, they had to have better resolution and then the format changed and that kind of thing. So right. each time that happened, the lion was probably too old and they got another lion and did it again. Yeah, as, yeah. as filming but technology how, improved, they'd want to make the right. logo Like, So how many times did that better. happen? I, I yeah, no how idea. frequently would they update the logo? Because they would film it and use the same film piece. Yeah over and over and over again until they decided they could make it better. Yeah, we need widescreen or, right. you know, maybe they went from black and white to color. I don't know how old it is. But, but um, I agree, Rob. Something is is very specific as this and not giving a plus or minus. Yeah. It, it's a wild guessing game. We have no idea. Yeah. But unless, since you there's unless you no happen to know. Or, since there's no plus or minus, I would think that the number would probably be lower yeah, I agree. Because if it were fifty, that well, would... oh, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's going to be however many times they change the technology and how to redo it. Years. I would think it would be a lower number though, or that he would have given a plus or minus. I agree. I think it's probably something's actually pretty simple. I like five. They only change the technology a few times. I bet you it's under five.
Why do you get quiet? I don't we've know. Had, I mean, we've, I'm had, we've had a number. We've had several num answers that were five here. Yeah, I'll put I've, five. It's as good as anything. Uh, it's in the ballpark. All right, we're putting five. We're gonna have a lot of fives. All right. Um. So what does servide mean? I have no idea. Is that a horse? Mm. What is it? Because I mean, different animals gallop. There's a galloping, there's a galloping Pegasus, but that I wouldn't think it would be a classification family of, and there's also one with a unicorn, I think. Um, but those don't fit the scientific classification of anything, so okay, I don't know. Right, because they're making like a horse, a, a zebra. Is, is something have zebra in it? I know that there are some. There have been at least a few companies that have used like gazelles and stuff like that. Mm. Probably. Think of a logo that has an animal that's galloping. So that'd be a four-legged animal, right? Yeah, the only thing I could think of is those fictional, you know, horse-like animals. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, there's been plenty of. Uh, but yeah, there could it could have been gazelles or, or, or zebras. Of a galloping horse, but mm. what the heck is a cervidae or however you pronounce it? Is that from giraffes? The family, the the family of animals that giraffes are in. That could be. And no idea. A giraffe gallop. Who has a, who has a galloping yep, giraffe? Yep, 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 gallop. Giraffes giraffe. can gallop. I've yeah. seen. Yeah. I've okay, seen so them do. Obviously, not a giraffe. I uh, no, not obviously. I've seen them gallop in person oh, in the yeah. our Six know, Flags amusement I know, park. I know. Five miles away. There's a there's a logo with like uh horses and they're like one two three four. They're like blue, light blue, and they're different colors okay. of. What oh yeah, what, what, I what think I remember that. that. Like this. What company is it? Jordan, help me out here. But you've seen it, right? It's like no, it's, it's like not ringing a bell for me. Four or five nope. I have, but I can't remember you what the name the of the movie. company is. Because that's what you, if it's galloping, you need uh, to kind of have more than one. So it's like superimposed on each other. And it's like. Um, why would you have to have more than one if it's galloping? Because it shows well, the movement. The only thing I no. will say is the question does not infer plural. No, I mean, I, Susan's probably right that it's multiple ones, but it doesn't have this to be. This company's gallop. logo features a galloping animal. Right. So it might even not. Right. So it's the one I'm thinking of, I bet. It's light blue. Um, it's not FedEx. It's something that has like a moving company or something like that, isn't it? Like um Oh, are we talking about the Budweiser horses? Not no. Budweiser. Is it Budweiser? Uh, this is a cartoon, yeah. well, a cartoon drawing yeah. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Which company has the the uh, the, the horses? Clydesdales? The, the Clydesdales. Yeah, which That's, company? Uh, is it? Budweiser. That is Budweiser. Budweiser yeah. But I don't think it's I don't think it's there. And besides it would be plural. Unless he's using animal singular because it's one it's only the one type of animal. That I don't know if Jamie's comfortable answering or not. Oh, but what was the question? Which way? The question does, does does the word singular animal in question 10 imply there is only one animal shown? A the word A features A galloping animal. It's, it's singular. So there is only one animal. Uh -huh. As opposed to one type of animal, meaning there could be more of that yeah. animal, well, but only one, one type. I, I, I'm thinking it's a moving company mm. or something that's like get things done fast. It's not like... Um... I liked your idea of um, like FedEx or something like that. Some kind of yeah. delivery. Some, some... It's not FedEx. It's not UPS. Pony Express. No, it's... There you go. What's the other one? What's the one that's like yellow? DHS. DHL. What's DHL. their logo? I don't remember. I think their logo is just their three letters, though. Just like FedEx, all, all they use is their letters. It has the arrow in it, you know, but I don't think they have an animal in their logo. Pony Express. I mean that's that's a better answer than not having an answer, Rob. I wonder what a survey day is. No idea. If only we could Google that while we're answering these questions. <laughs> right, we could get we could kill two birds with that if we could. Yeah, Google there you it. go. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, so he, it says fe so if Jamie is being literal, it says features, not featured. So I don't think we can use actually Pony Express that. Uh, we no, do have answers for everything. Pony Express. But... It's like a it's not the post office. It's not um... <laughs> snail mail. I have a snail. Okay. I did I did clarify the guy's number seven, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How's everybody okay. Not too bad. No, 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 I'll wait another minute before we'll start the countdown. So I'll let you know. Oh, Susan, when I went last week, the countdown was set to one, back to one minute. I don't know why. Uh, oh, it is? Okay, I'll check. Computer. It, we had changed it from one minute to two minutes to give people more warning. And then I got set back it to one It must be your own computer, Rob. Yeah, it's weird. Because that wouldn't have anything to do with my computer, I don't think. Well, you are using my account, so I don't know. Yeah, that's why it's weird. It does a lot of things. Guys the time to come back from your names was it two minutes? I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't even notice. I can't remember now. At that least... was so long ago. <laughs> that was a whole ago. fifteen minutes ago. Mm. Okay, Susan. Okay, you guys, Susan, can you um start the countdown? Oh, let me do it. Okay. Yeah, someone can. I don't know how to do it. All right, so what are we putting for 10? It's not Pony Express if it's a current company. I don't I don't have any thought because it's not any of the uh, travel or shipping companies. Could it be for a trucking company? Could be. Can you name a trucking sure. company? Yeah, I can't think of anything, any trucking mm -hmm. company that uses a... Otherwise, I say we're better using... No, but Clydesdale, there's always multiple of them in there. Yeah. And they're actually trotting, not, not galloping, to be specific. I don't know if Jamie would have cared about that, but oh, my mind is geez. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really not coming up with much. My brain's a blank right now. Yeah, really with most things, I how my brain works is I'm not great at remembering names. I remember what people look like, what logos look like. I remember what things look like, not what the names of those things are. Mm. So I can remember what they look like, but I don't know what yes. name to attach to I, that. Like you can picture a logo, but attaching a name to that logo that you're picturing in your head, that's two very different things. <laughs> Let me think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, um, oh, see, that's, ooh, I was going to say, like, the Mustang. Could it be yeah. a car company? But the Mustang logo, did the company is Ford. Mustang is a car brand, so I don't know how that would fit exactly. Mustang, I mean, why well, not? We don't have anything else. They do Mustang have a Mustang. Ford? There, There is a Mustang, like, on the like, yeah, I mean, like the, the Ford Mustang is clearly one horse. No, 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 but it's named this company. The company is not right. Ford Mustang. I know. That would be Ford, if that's what we're going for. But it's the company's logo. Three seconds. Company logo. It's this company's logo. So the name of the company. Okay. okay. Good luck. I don't know. That is was... everybody back? Yeah, I think Oops. everybody's back now. Mm. Back. Yeah, everybody back. Let me check this. Okay. Bing, Songbird. Okie dokie. Is everybody all set? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works. I've never done this before. You guys iPad. be nice because we have we have new people here, so no arguing. Okay. At least so we number the one. third round. <laughs> so number one, the Dutch East India Company. When we were traveling in India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Japan, China, um, you see this logo everywhere, buildings, um, coins, everywhere. Okay, so let me try this. Oh, let's see. Okay, number one. The answer is VOC. Oh. Oh. Hey. Now, it does look we, nice. we did not get this, but just out of curiosity, since you just asked for the letters, is any order of those letters acceptable? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess it is. O C V, yeah. <laughs> just the three letters. Yeah. Three letters. What what does yeah. it stand for? Voice uh, of Canada. For, <laughs> yeah, it stands for 
Five. VOC stands for Verenica, Verenica, Erstendisha, Campagna, which means. Oh, the United that should have been obvious. It should have been obvious. United yeah. East India Company. But all over, actually, when we travel, uh, we got hooked on looking for the VOC symbols. And we knew that the Dutch in the 17th century occupied the area. So we had cannons and for fun when we travel, we always look for the VOC symbols. Oh. Okay. Number two. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Kevin, it looks like you have earrings. <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. They're lovely. They're lovely. Number two. Okay, number two, which logo did my father invent? It's the NBC Peacock. Yay! Yay. Oh, that's Very that's your dad? Cool. And that's a picture of my father. Yeah. Oh, cool. In the 60s. He did the lettering. He, he After he did the uh -huh. NBC Peacock, um, then most of the TV shows in the 60s, my father did the lettering for, like Leave it to Beaver, Father Knows Best, huh. um, Jack Carr, oh. The Wonderful World of Color for Disney. Oh, so wow. most of the shows. Oh, I love that one. He also oh, did the, the, the uh, Alfred Hitchcock coming in to the to the, the end. Oh, that's yeah. really Ooh. silhouette. Whoa. Whoa. When, when yeah, Alfred Hitchcock comes in that silhouette. And when yeah. he comes into the, oh. him coming into the silhouette, he drew that. Mark is going to love that. And the one I always like to tell, and Jamie, you may not remember this one because you were very young back then, but there was a television program called uh, about from Walter Cronkite about uh, what, what what history was like, and it was the, you are there. The twenty yeah, of that one, yeah. Back history yeah. and interview people. Yeah, well, you one were of the there. Episodes of you are there. They did the signing of the Declaration of Independence, and the actor who played uh, and John your dad. Hancock, they did a close up of him signing John Hancock. Well, of course, the actor couldn't do that. That was our father's hand. Um, they up, no. he wrote the signature, John uh, Hancock, and they oh, So we well, all sat around the screen. He was there. We didn't care about the program. Where's Daddy's hand? But <laughs> Gail, but, but part of the story that you, you forgot um, when my when my father did the John Hancock commercial, um, what he did was he had he had to dress up his arm like John Hancock. But he had to do yeah, it ahead yeah. of time. So um, he dressed up his arm as John Hancock and he took the subway to Manhattan. And when he got <laughs> on the subway, oh all these people started to harass him for being gay because he was one arm was had this John Hancock like clothes on, this frilly. So people Only were harassing him for being gay. He had just one hand. He had dressed up. So people were harassing him for being gay when he got off the train station. Now it's like, started, it's like the Seinfeld episode when he wore the pirate costume, the pirate yeah. shirt. Puffy shirt. I don't want to be a pirate. Puffy shirt, yeah. yes. Puffy okay, shirt. go on. Okay. Okay, number three. Okay. Number three is Sitco. Oh, yeah. yeah. The double yeah. sign is Sitco. Nice. All right. In my background, I have it animated as well. I'll share a link to that. Oh. You got that one, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can uh, put number my four. In front of that sign. It's on the top of a building, though, way up. So yeah, that's there. the biggest. That's one of the big la biggest landmarks in Boston. Yeah, and there's oh, no single gas station within miles. <laughs> yeah. there, used to, there used to be one. Yeah, no more. Look at hey, look at remember... Mark is here. He say hi. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. What's Whoop, going whoop. on? Everybody yeah, having they fun? Hit a, they hit, they hit a home run in the Red Sox. You sometimes see that in the background. Right. Yeah. The oh, Sitco thing. Logo. Yeah. Okay, number four. Since times? 2013, the sum of all the dots on the Domino's Pizza logo see you later. Bye. Thanks. is three. Oh, Yay. Oh, 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 look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Jordan, you need to eat more Domino's. No, you don't. Uh, no, not if you've <laughs> ever tasted it. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben okay, number is five. an expert on it. Yeah. Number five, how many different colors are in the Google logo? The answer is four. Yay. Oh. 
Oh, oh, both jeans are the same. Damn. Four colors. Blue and red. Yeah. What about the white background? <laughs> That's not a, white's not a color. It's all mm. colors. Okay, number six. Um, the, the Church and Dwight Company produced what? And it was baking soda. Arm and Hammer. Arm and baking Hammer. Soda. Oh, my right. gosh. Oh, that Sim makes so much sense also. now. But I didn't know this, that the um, all of America's baking soda comes from Green River, Wyoming, mining of Trona. And Trona is a um, crystal. It's, a, it's called trisodium hydrogen carbonate dihydrate. It's a natural, it's the world's largest um, mine for a mining of baking soda is in Wyoming. Mm. That's what they, they used to, for mummification. They would cover the body with nature. Dry it out. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you still there? Yeah. Are you still there? My um, you froze, but we're here. My, well, we can see you. You can see you not moving. I we can't can see him at all. Picture. No, I don't see him. Let me remove the screen share. Unless he's in a dark room. <laughs> I see a frozen picture of him. Yeah, yeah. there it goes. He's gone now. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah. something happened in Thailand. Do you know how how long will it take for the tsunami to hit us now? Oh, here he comes back in. Never mind. But don't panic. He's back. That's really okay. weird. I still have his old square there, just with his name. Yeah, yeah. same, yeah. same here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There, there he is. Um, there okay. he is. That is weird. I'm worried there, Jamie. I thought maybe a tsunami had wiped you out. And... No, the whole thing just froze. Strange. Okay, where are we? Number seven. Okay, number seven. The logo that employs Hermes's foot is Goodyear. Yay. Oh, good year. Oh, oh, no. oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we they never sell good year tires at Foot Locker? <laughs> I thought yeah. it was FT. Different. We were nowhere near. Foot Locker is a referee. Yeah, it's a referee. Yeah, yeah. yeah so FT, I just Googled it. FTD has all of him, with, including his foot. All of it. That's right. Uh, number eight, the um, this logo version of Walt Disney. As seven. Oh, uh, good job, Bill. All right. Oh my gosh, I would never yeah. have known that. Thank okay. you, Kevin. Good yeah. job. I'm sort of counting eight, but okay. <laughs> See, number nine. Oh, where are we? Yeah, number so nine? Did, I counted that too, Deborah. So did one of those towers not have a flag? One on? didn't have a flag. Or, oh, it, was, well, or it was well, facing, we were, so. so you couldn't see it. Yeah, the wind was blowing the other direction. Yeah, it was either blowing it to the Some camera. Some were for the or turret on the other side. I would say that's eight. Some were well, we, we were wrong anyway. So yeah, we were way wrong. Go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, number nine. How many live lions were used since 1924 by MGM? The answer is seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. They are. Sorry, guys. I knew it. I knew it. How many dead Stop. ones did they use? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> then they Look are. at how the hairstyles evolved. <laughs> yeah. Look at all the different shoes they have on. Look at that one they used for like for like a, a 1934 to 1956. That was, that one was they a were, long time. The last one was used oh, oh, the first yeah. one just looks like whatever. Yeah. yeah. Give yeah, me my food. Wow. Did anybody get that one right? We said five. Uh, seven. I so said two. Man. I thought it was a black and white in the color. Four lions at the same time. Mike, Mike yeah. suggested it. We just poo pooed it. You, Kevin, you know how hard it was to find the black and white lion. <laughs> they just used a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> well, they found the, a the black one, and white cat and just this, blew it up a little bit, and that's what happened to him. Uh, funny. <laughs> and um, finally, number ten. The company logo that has galloping animal, which is in the family of Cerverdi, is Cerverdi sure. John Deere. Yay! John Deere. Oh my gosh! Paula kicked butt. Paula kicked butt. Thank you. Yep. Wow, yeah. we screwed up. We we did awful. Sorry, team. I, I I'm yeah, off. The team J now. J Jamie did it to himself. Well, can I share something real quick? If it's quick. Here you can. 
This I thing is what I did during COVID. I went into Boston at 2 a.m. <laughs> and recorded this. I put a tripod in the street. And it's right. so because hey, I just wanted to cool. I, I just nice. I was dying to take pictures. So I looked for neon signs and I only had like two that were local to me. So I drove into Boston one night during COVID and took a bunch of neon signs photos. Oh, that's cool. Right, you gotta go to Times Square one night. You'll never leave. Hey, oh yeah, hey. I know. Been there, I've been to Nashville. I mean, Kevin, too. Kevin. Yep. Can we get that uploaded to Wikimedia Commons? <laughs> I gotta. How do I unshare? Stop the share. C I T G O. So yeah, that'd be neat. That would be cool to have it uploaded. You have to upload it as a what's it called? A, I have the link to a. It's a YouTube. No, no, no. It can't be that. You have to upload it for us to be. Oh, make it a GIF. You mean? No, no. Yeah, make it a GIF, but you have to upload it as a OGG file. Oh, I don't know. And then upload it. You know what? Carl will help you. (laughs) Carl was just volunteering. Homework, Carl. Carl. Well no, that is pretty cool looking. That is cool. I'd love to have that. I don't, I don't think I've ever uploaded anything but still imagery to Wikimedia. Well, you'll figure it out because you guys between. Uh, I I can I have a G, a GIF of it somewhere. It's in a. I made uh, a GIF Carl, and I made a video. Carl will figure it out. Very good. Okay, so there's the YouTube the scores. Good job. That yeah. was different. I like that. Okay, here we go. Team number. Let's go to the last one. RFK says water makes you gay. <laughs> Do we have seven or eight? I don't know. I I count seven. Wow. That's what I counted. I counted seven. Okay. Vermont petitions government to sell water to California. We got nine. Uh Wow. Make America think again. Make America think again. And that's with you knowing the person who, (laughs) knowing the peacock (laughs) guy, because it was your dad, Gail. Yeah. (laughs) We got that one right. (laughs) <laughs> in putin russia jogging app steps on you seven okay putin declare oh, this is this is jamie's group putin declares all russian patriots will go to heaven heaven applies for nato membership thanks jamie punch and oh, judy we didn't get a zero we got one. one one oh one? we did better than somebody all right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> we get whoever we get whoever and anyone who joins the game. All right. <laughs> Good job. That means the next round, if somebody else comes in, you get that team member. And I'm leaving, so that's okay. It doesn't matter to me. All right. One more round and then we take a break. Go ahead. You're up, Carl. You want a hard one or an easy one? I want a hard easy. one. That's what she said. Easy. Easy. <laughs> I was waiting. I was, I was just waiting. Me too. One. All right. Well, okay. We'll do this one. Sorry. <laughs> He's got so many. Okay. <laughs> Deborah got it. Deborah's going to shut down. Well. I was going to say it, but I thought, no, <laughs> I don't need to do that. I was just waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Don't apologize. So we're doing uh, unoriginal we'll do the other one? ideas. D- d- double, your, double Your Pleasure Part 4. Okay. I'll read, I'll read descriptions of movies and you need to name what the movie is. Ready for someone to mute? Lee? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on. You only have one job. Mute all. Let's <laughs> grab the ball. Lee. Participants. I don't know what is going on with my laptop. All right, here we go. Got it. Hey, Carl, you're on mute. All right. So uh, there will actually be 12 questions in this round only because the last two, I don't expect anybody will know them at all. They're just there for sake of completeness. Breaking the rules, dude. Hey, if anybody gets the last two, I will be amazed. All right. Number one, 2005 film about a caving expedition going horribly wrong 
as the explorers become trapped and are ultimately pursued by a strange breed of predators. Lena Headley is in it, and two characters make it out to daylight. Number two. 2005 film about a caving expedition going horribly wrong as the explorers become trapped and are ultimately pursued by a strange breed of predators. Shauna McDonald is in it, and only her character makes it out alive. All right. Number three. 2022 film adapt adaptation of the 19th century children's story about a wooden puppet brought to life by magic. This one features the voice of Polly Shore. Number four. 2022 film adaptation of a 19th century children's story about a wooden puppet brought to life by magic. This one features the voice of Evan McGregor. And some people might know where this is going. 2022 film uh, adaptation of the 19th century children's story uh, by, oh, uh, there's a typo in there, about a wooden puppet brought to life by magic. This one features the voice of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Nobody saw that come in. All right. Number six. I don't recall you ever doing one with three before. I haven't done with one with He's three. He's breaking before. the rules. Yeah, so we didn't see that coming. No. Uh, I'll put it in there twice. 1999 film about an ordinary guy whose everyday life is the subject of a TV show. Matthew McConaughey is in it. Number seven. 1999 film about an ordinary guy whose everyday life is the subject of a TV show. Ed Harris is in it. How do you find these? How do you make these categories? How many films have you had to watch, Carl, to figure well, this out? Some, some of these I go off memory of things I know, and others of these I have done searching for. Okay, here we go. 1989 underwater adventure film about a team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life form, Ed Harris and Michael Bean are in it. Number nine. 1989 underwater adventure film about a team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life form, Peter Weller was in it. I don't know any of these actors. Number 10. 1989 underwater adventure film about a team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life form. Greg Evigan was in it. Thanks. Number 11. 1989 underwater adventure film about a team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life form. Wayne Crawford was in it. Good Lord. And for the sake of completeness, Number 12, 1989 underwater adventure film about a team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life form. Bradford Dillamont was in it. Five in the same freaking year. They must have been yeah. playing in the theaters at the same time, at least some of them. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Ow. And there you go. Go forth and contemplate. We're going to uh, get 12 this, this with this one. the hard one, right, Carl? If anyone who knows the, the 11 and 12, I will be ridiculously impressed. This is going to help us out here. Yeah, yeah, let's Karen. do it. Here comes Karen. She's going to go into room one. <laughs> Sorry, you guys don't get her. She would be great at this. She she has a memory like, I don't know, of everything. Mike, you're muted. Unless you're talking to yourself and you just don't want us to know. But the Descent is one of the first. I'm not sure. Put it for both. Maybe number two. But I don't have another one, so you can just put it for both. So the so I would I would argue that Lena the one that Lena Hetty is in is probably a higher quality one, maybe not because I I don't even know who Shauna McDonald is. That sounds like a B. Definitely. I think The Descent had a lot of no name actors, but it uh -huh. might have been like an early Lena Hetty one. So yeah, she wouldn't but have had course, a lot of. I don't have a second one, so. 
Oh, so that's leadership. the only one. Yeah. So it's not a bad idea, as Kyle suggested, to put it for both if we don't have a better name. Yeah. Um, Cavey Expedition, Gone Horribly Wrong. No, there's not like the cave or spelunking, gone bad. Okay, so what about might be that I don't know. The Poseidon Adventure. Go on to the next four. There's the three Pinocchio movies, but didn't they name one of them Geppetto? Mm -hmm. But in 2000, oh, that sounds right. Does that makes sense, yeah. But I don't know which one. So I think that maybe that may be the Polly Shore one. Ooh. Three. Okay. You think three is Geppetto? Could be. I don't have a better answer. I just, I, you know, Polly Shore. Poor Geppetto. Ah, 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 ah. Punch and Judy. There was one called Judy and Punch. Uh. So, um, and then one would have been Pinocchio, just Pinocchio, right? Maybe the Ewan McGregor one. That's the second one. That makes sense, sure. Hmm. He's pretty high dollar. But maybe he was he if he was I one I mean the two Pinocchio movies were I think were both called Pinocchio or one was called like Guillermo de Toro's Pope Pinocchio. Oh. So I'm wondering if maybe the big star, like Ewan McGregor, was in the one called Geppetto because he would have played Geppetto. Not necessarily. I mean the the person in it could be any I don't know. Because Polly Shore was not Polly Shore could have been like a tiny part in. Yeah, he could have been the the book. Animated. So are these animated? Because this is the voice of. Well, one of them at least is animated. I think one of them was like CGI live action kind of. Yeah, the one there's the Tom Hanks one, that was Disney that was like the remake of the Disney cartoon, which was terrible. I think that was just called Pinocchio, and there's the Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Which I don't know whether it was called just Pinocchio or Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio or The Adventures of Pinocchio or just Pinocchio. So I don't know. And then Pinocchio. So do we think that the yeah. del Toro film would have been the Ewan McGregor one or the Gordon Levitt one? Because I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have hired Polly Shore. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gordon, Le Gordon Levitt is more of an arty guy, so. Yeah. So maybe Del Toro, it would be the third one? No, Del Toro, would, well, the third one, yes, six. <laughs> or five, rather. So if we Del go Toro with Del Toro, five. Different... Although, again, are we just calling that Pinocchio? Um, Four, Pinocchio. Three, Geppetto. Pinocchio, Geppetto, Geppetto, Pinocchio. Geppetto. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna ask for a specific title. So I do know one. I know six. Is that Ed TV? Yeah, that's one I remember. And oh, seven is the Truman, Truman Show. Show. Truman yeah. Show. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that one might be Ed Harris. Yeah. Eight, I think, is the Abyss. Yeah. That's oh yeah, one of these is. Nine, Leviathan. Oh, good. Nine is oh the same description. Why am I even looking? Oh, Peter yeah, Weller. There different. was another underwater movie. What was eight? I don't remember the name. Eight the is this the James Cameron film. Yeah. It was a good film. It was fun to watch. Yeah, I liked it. Um, Greg Evigan. Oh, seriously, really. I think also was in it Miguel Ferrer was in that. Greg Evan, uh, the third one, or maybe he was in the Peter Weller one. Mm -hmm. But we don't have another title, huh? Because we need three more. <laughs> Jeez. Is one, is one the deep? Could there be the deep? No, the deep no, was that was like that, a lot earlier. That was a long time ago, and it had like what's her name? That girl wet with t-shirt. Yeah. T-shirt. Famous for the wet t-shirt scene. The depth, depth. Jack and Bissett. Um, did set loose the Kraken. 
the cracking. I don't know. These all sound like bad movies, other than the Abyss. Leviathan. What about age. the original, uh, the the Little Mermaid? That might have been eighty nine. Ooh, what an idea. Well, wouldn't it say the voice? The, the underwater voice, adventure. The voice of somebody like he did it with uh, the other questions? Yeah, probably. But then again, that would have given it away that it was an animation or something. Well, it's a stretch, too. It's like, you know, the team encounters a possibly dangerous life form with an Ursula. Yeah. It's kind of a stretch. Um Yeah, it's a stretch. <laughs> and I don't remember though when they It when was that, about 89. Was it? Yeah. In that I had era. One old child. Caspian was one, so maybe. Where is he? Bradford Dillman, would he have been in that? I don't know who that is. You'd recognize him, but yeah. He was like one of those guys who did a lot of 70s TV shows. He did a lot. He was also in um, a big movie, The Way We Were. Wayne Crawford. Don't know who that is. Nope. So maybe just some stupid name. Or something obscure. <laughs> some flop. Adventure from the team that encounters an unknown, possibly dangerous life. So, what other kind of dangerous? Like, so, so could one of these be, have been about a shark or giant, scary sharks, or that whole shark thing might have happened later? Like, the mega well, sharks shark. were scary in the eighties. I believe that. Are you guys all looking forward to the Meg too? <laughs> I want to watch Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. That's what's stopping you, isn't it? Out. You it's up this weekend. Well, I've been busy, hmm. uh, just trying to get this stuff done. I'm off tomorrow. Is my first day off. Okay, uh, just throw some ideas out about what you might encounter in the deep dark ocean. Kyle, Carl, you're killing us, Kyle, Carl. Carl, Kyle. <laughs> well, Carl. this is definitely the hardest of all the film. Yeah duplicate film plot rounds and it's probably the last because i'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel you certainly oh, it'll are. Be the last for another year or two until they release a bunch more movies at the same time really welcome to 2023 i mean if oh, i had, well, we I'd have had done this strike and we have a, done this a couple strike. years ago i'd have had three last questions a, yeah. a, a movie where a shorter than you'd expect actor drives a car around an italian city and wrecks everything Either Mad Max. No, that would be either Fast oh, that would and, be Water World. Fast Ten or uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, water World has water in it. Did they encounter a, a, a possibly dangerous life form? No, yeah. that's not the plot of that never ending movie. <laughs> in as much as Water World actually has a plot. Yeah. The plot seems to be just Somebody's big ego trip. Oh, here's another good one. Superhero movie where the hero goes to alternate universes. Oh, and geez. Fights different and features different versions of himself. Name the Star Trek series where they travel to the past and visit parallel universes. <laughs> That's just too many. It'd be way more than 12. Carl, can you think of an alternate universe story prior to the that Star Trek original series one? Prior to the Mirror Mirror episode, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. off the top of my head. I have. I would have to spend a good time thinking to see if I could come up with anything. Because this year it seems like every single movie. Oh, I, I'm. I was, that was my review of uh, Mission, the new Mission Impossible. Is like, wait, they didn't have an alternate universe here. <laughs> I, I'm getting so sick and tired of alternate parallel reality plots. It's. It's a ridiculous. Are you getting to a point pressure. where you don't like time travel? I mean, a lot of them have been good, but there's just like it's just like every movie now. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's well, it's basically the new zombie. A few years right. ago, it was just zombies everywhere, zombies, zombies. Now it's parallel universes everywhere. Somebody made money with them, so somebody yeah. else wants to. I only made money. Making, or... People will keep recycling that plot and still it top, stops returning on investment. Yep. Not only not only make money, but uh, won the Academy Award this year. For, best for what? For what? The the Oscar winner for Best Picture was Everywhere Everything Everywhere All at Once, which oh, is another right. parallel, parallel universe. Oh, parallel universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, are you done? Do we want do we want to go with the descent for number two? Just put the same answer for two. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we have the descent, the descent. We've got Geppetto for the first one, Pinocchio, Del Toro's Pinocchio, and Ed TV, The Truman Show, The Abyss, Leviathan, and then we have nothing for the last one, two, three. Just add Leviathan to the other ones in case. Okay. Leviathan for, for ten. Oh, or do you have a better one? One of, is, one of them was like Deep Star Six, or but that's not the real name. What about what was Sea Quest? That, that was a TV show. show. A TV show. Well, if okay. I could see my rack of my shelf of CDs. I could because I think I have that uh, <laughs> Deep Star Six. Put Deep Star Six for the third of the. Uh... Okay, Abyss Leviathan, and then Deep Star Six. Yeah, I that's, think that's ten. Awesome. By a word. Just use that answer yeah. for all the last three. We could put like Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea for one of the others. Okay. I know yeah. it's wrong, but it fits the plot line. It's just the wrong year. And then the last one, Leviathan again. Sure. Although I think the Leviathan is the. Too. Trip. Oh, it's good. Yeah. She's back and going back to work tomorrow. Get over her jet lag. Yep. She was in she was in Italy, you guys. <gasps> oh, and I just for a week. That's like not even. Yeah, it was hot. Enough. It was so hot she didn't even bother carving her name into a monument. <laughs> oh. Didn't miss that Louis Vuitton. Uh, oh, oh, good one. God. Kyle, I tell you, you just come out with those and they're great. That's great. So hot. Yo. Did she bring you something pretty, Kyle? No, I got nothing in return. Not even a Domino's pizza. You didn't even get a crappy t-shirt? Come on. Oh, yeah, right. She came back. That's what Must it have been too hot to true. shop. Yeah. We're done, Carl. That's why I lit the two-minute warning. There's a two-minute warning? There is. It's funny how I can never see. Oh, there it is. It doesn't pop up like in front of everybody. I got it. Yeah, now I see it, but. Okay. I don't know. So, which, what, next week, which movie are you guys going to rush out to see? Oppenheimer or the Barbie movie? I want to see them both. They're supposed, to, supposed to see them together. Barbie. <laughs> Yeah, it's a thing. There's a lot of memes where it's they they've combined both of them. Yeah, but your the decision, the hard decision is which one to go to first. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see them, but I'm just that's why I might not be at uh, trivia next week because I always like to go to the Thursday night uh, opening of the movies. Hmm. Well, fine. Anything else coming out? Is any good? God, can you imagine they're going to have if, if Hollywood actors and writers are out for much longer? Yeah, enjoy the movies while you can. Nothing yeah. new coming out. I mean, they've got enough for a while, but there's going to be a period. I mean, they'll just end up spreading them out. And I know, but it's like just when we're getting caught up from COVID. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, well, gonna be a, there's a period where there's a bunch of shitty movies because they didn't have the writers to help do rewrites. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they just kind of shoot it with the script as it is. We get a whole bunch of reality shows. There's gonna be that. That's what or recycled British scripts. There's an argument that the uh, the last the, that there was a writer strike gave us Trump because The Apprentice. Yeah. Was... Hey, Deborah, finish the story when uh, when we get back. Deborah, finish the story when we get back. <laughs> That was fun. Tough, but fun. <laughs> All right. Here we go for answers.
So, <laughs> question number one. The cave. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Is that a gorilla under the water? No. Mm -hmm. oh, the descent. descent. Hey. hey, Rob, you you do descent into the deep, though, sometimes. But, mm -hmm. okay, you're off the hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number three, Pinocchio, a true story. All right, Kevin. Good yeah, story. Kevin. Good job. Kevin, you got it. Wait, do we need a subtitle? You have to have Pinocchio, a true story. Uh, you do not have to have the colon, though. Seriously? <laughs> a true I'm story, not Pinocchio? Oh my God! Does a true story movie. have to be on a banner? Number four, <laughs> Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Yes, good. Yes. Yeah. Paul well, had that one. And number five, <laughs> Pinocchio. You don't have to have Disney, just Pinocchio. Yay! Okay. Oh, <laughs> but wow. we did have Disney. What? Number six, Ed TV. Yay. Yeah. Ed TV. Never heard of that one. And the number seven most people figured was the Truman Show. Is Ed TV worth eight. watching? The <laughs> Abyss. Yes. Yay! Yeah. And I had to show the iconic scene yeah. of yep. very advanced <laughs> CGI by Lucas Arts, Lucasfilm Animation. Yep. There. We were discussing that in our round. Yeah. That, I, I forget how many hours of processing that took to do. But mm -hmm. that was the state of the art of CGI at the time. And then number nine, Leviathan. Yes, good job, Dane. Okay. Number 10, Deep Star Six. I don't oh, know. Right, right. Oh, no. I never heard of that. Yeah, I didn't very know. Close. Okay, you were I so close. Got it. I didn't got it. I was close. And Come then on. if anybody got the next two, I will be totally amazed. Well, number you 11, know if you Evil fire Below. Fire. With Wayne Crawford and June Chadwick. And 10, Lords of the Deep. Lords of the but Deep. But with people oh. nobody's ever heard of in it. Never heard of them. Oh. That's hilarious. So cool. Mm. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we had we hedged. We had Leviathan for the last four answers. <laughs> <laughs> Carl said that this might be the last time he does this category because he said he was scraping the barrel on this one. Until they come up with the next movie. I, yeah, I definitely scraping the I, barrel. I haven't even heard of some of these movies. I still have actors. a couple rounds worth for television shows, but that's about it for movies. <laughs> okay, so let's go over to scores. Um, oh, I have to do, I'm sorry. I have to do Sheriff. Sure, sure. <laughs> the Little Mermaid face. <laughs> yeah, we were saying Little Mermaid. At least yeah. Okay. Or Ramirez, he, he was insistent on that, and it's not an underwater adventure story about a dangerous life form. It came out in nineteen eighty. But it came out in nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. Well, that's good. I thought it was uh, um yeah Ursula was a scary. Ursula was a pretty yeah, Ursula. 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 So Putin declares all Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO membership. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, you got Karen. Yeah, we got some points. You had Karen. <laughs> Not me. It wasn't you? Okay. Make America think again. Three. All right. <laughs> that name is right. not sticking with you very well, is it? RFK says water makes you gay. Ten. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Wow. What? wow. Okay. In Putin, Russia, jogging up steps on you. <laughs> I think our team got seven. Does my team agree with that? And that's Carl's team. I'm not arguing. Yep. All right. Hey, Vermont petitions government to sell water to California. Nine. Wow. wow. By one point, you're still in the lead. Wow. Okay, everybody, come on camera. I want to take a picture of you guys. Show your pretty faces. Here we are. Sitco. Susan and Lane, are you still there? They're gone. No, I see movement. Oh, there they are. They're back. <laughs> take a picture. Picture time. We're going to take a picture. picture time. Susan. It's tradition. Double Double my job. Okay, here we go. Everybody ready? Okay, one. Wait, wait.
back of a hand. Okay. Oh, there we are. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right. Okay, five minute break. We're still recording. Keep that in mind. Five minutes. Go. Da, 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 da. Oh, there you are. Okay. Ronaldo, I'm not here today. When are you? Uh, when are you traveling? We leave uh, a week from Tuesday. Where are you going? Going on a cruise in Europe, river cruise. Did you put in a permission slip to be leaving the game? Yes, I haven't Did you, seen it. You signed it. What, what river? Uh, well, it's a bunch of different rivers. We're starting in Paris and then going to Prague. Nice. Most of the, most of the time oh, we'll I be love, in Germany. I love, I loved Prague. But I there's a category. Name all the rivers you're going to pad that you went through. There you go. I'll, I'll do that when I get back. Yeah, you could go along and say, I am just here to see the river. So for trivia, yep. all I'm here for. And we start off with a five-hour bus ride from Paris to Trier where we get on our boat. Ooh. Oh, are oh, you going to spend time so in Trier? Not, There's so a lot to the see in Trier. The boat does not leave from Paris then. Okay. No. So anybody need a glass mezuzah for their door? I'm 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 helping Debbie uh, make make these these mezuzahs to go up on the the door here. I don't know if I need something like that. What what would I do with them? All right, that's how you did. Nobody, ah, I know what they are. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's all kinds it's of real goo. eggs. I did not know what the magic castle was. I was just enlightened in our room before. It was something unknown to me. I just had my teeth cleaned today too. And I was telling the hygienist, she goes, uh, she was asking where I was. And I said, I was in LA. And she asked, what for? And I told her, and she's never heard of it before. Isn't that interesting? I get a lighthouse on my screen. I'll show you three, four different pictures. That's one. There's another view of the same. There's another view of at night goes falls. And then I'll be in the top. I have a pretty? picture of me inside that. How many turrets does it have? <laughs> <laughs> so Deborah was Deba. Deba. <laughs> Deba was telling you about it. Very good. Okay, I will be right back. Kevin, you've been on a, on a on a picture taking uh, a role lately with your uh, with these rock groups and stuff. Yeah, but that's what I do all the time. That's yeah. well, that's why I was bored during COVID. I went and took, you know, pictures of um, neon signs in Boston. Is is that just that's just a hobby though? Yeah, yeah. Well, I do take pictures for my a lot of my friends' bands, and they promote them and stuff. They're they're great pictures. Does that get you free? To, does that get you free into uh, into the uh, show? Many shows. There's yeah. Billy, but that didn't. I paid for that's that seat. <laughs> there's my there's my deb, there's my uh, business card. <laughs> I think you should make your business card in the shape of a fish, so you can say, "This is my business card." 
<laughs> I, I didn't I half right. What'd you say? <laughs> There's a picture I took of a horse. Of a whore? A horse. Oh, here's the one with here's the one inside the lighthouse. That's the light at the top of that other one. And that's mm -hmm. the same lighthouse. What is the size of the lens in that lighthouse? Ask Lou. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kevin, those are rookie lighthouse uh, sizes. You need to pump those lighthouse sizes up, please. This is the tallest one on Cape Cod. It's 66 feet tall. You can climb up, and this is what it looks like inside there. This is one in... Uh, I know you can do it. In Chicago. Did you take that picture from the uh, from the boat? Yes, I did. The boat you recommended, which I just recommended to my boss, who's going there. There you go. In Chicago next week. That's really a good tour. It's a great tour. Yeah. yeah. You get to see the Trump building. See. In the background every well yeah everybody uh, we all we've all gone down there and at least put our thumbs over the t yeah <laughs> and then there's the fountain I so rarely get into the city now, and so when I go down there, I just I I, I always I forget just how pretty it is. Closest I've been to Chicago is O'Hare. <laughs> That's barely Chicago, but yeah. yeah, I think everybody's everybody's been stuck there at some point. That one's Nantucket. This one's called Gay Head in Martha's Vineyard, the Gay Head Lighthouse. And there's kids on a school trip. They can be really cruel, yeah. They were up on there. They were up on the platform. And then this is a cool one. This one has a house with a lighthouse behind it and a basketball hoop on the garage. You don't see that too often. <laughs> it's also on Martha's Vineyard. And this one's uh, on my side of Cape Cod, which is uh, just before you cross over to the official Cape Cod over the canal. And this is, um, I forgot what town it was in. And this is Falmouth. And this was the hardest one to get to. I had to walk a mile to get to this one because it was only beach access. What, ha what happened to the light there? I don't know, but that's what right. it is. Was there a camel when you got there? No. <laughs> and then this was the Coast Guard Lighthouse. I like this one. It's pretty cool. So I got three more to take. And oh, this is the the famous one from Cape Cod Potato Chips. Mm. And now that's the view that looks like the Cape Cod Potato Chip bag. Mm. Do they airbrush that wire out? Yep. That's that I did that because I couldn't uh, get the right shot. I was like disappointed. And they actually, it's a little different. It's close to this, but the window is uh, more towards the right. So they must have fixed the window because you can't get the building in the background the way they have it. They must have wrote, edited it a little bit. Ah, uh. it's close. And that's. I got like three more to go to get them all on on um, on Cape Cod. And there's the bridge on Cape Cod, one of the train bridges. So that's it. Well, the concert stuff you're talking about, this is stuff I took years ago. There's Billy. There's you two. There's me and Don McLean. I got to meet him because I took pictures for him once. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> All right, welcome back. Everybody here? Yep, oh, mm -hmm. I bored them with my photos again. 
you have wonderful <coughs> photos. We're going to have to start making you upload them all. So you better watch out. Um, so announcements. What do we got? Anybody done anything this week? Carl? Kyle? Hey, I'm Kyle. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, this week on Data Skeptic, I interview some researchers considering how AI uh, might take inspiration from the brain, whereas historically uh, AI has just been kind of a math computer science thing. Perhaps there are inlets where neurology will guide the course forward. So that's the discussion this week on Data Skeptic. I wonder what Stephen Avella has to say about that. Mm -hmm. I wonder, too. Mm -hmm. Rob? Oh, I um, just before the last week's game, uh, they pub skeptical and why I published my interview with <laughs> Melanie Teresa King, and this week I did and submitted uh, two other Psycon interviews: one with Eugenie Scott and one with Mick Wesp. Those should be out in a matter of days or weeks, depending how busy those people are. Mick West was really fun because we talked about all the current UFO nonsense. And Eugenie was was interesting to interview too. I had never really had a conversation with her. She's a sweetie. Yeah. But she scares me. She's tough. What? She's tough. Oh, she must have really scared you when she was in her Ruth Bader uh, Guinnessburg costume then. Oh, she was great. Yeah, she's a good friend. Carl, Carl gave me a good photo he took of her that I, I plopped into the video at the appropriate point because we were talking about the Halloween party. Oh, perfect. No. She, did, she did do that. Ruth Bader Ginsburg when you wonderful. <laughs> oh, she's that's the beginning. that's the one. That is an excellent photo. I don't did she did she carry around that the whole evening, including when How she was? How did she get that? Thing? I don't like, remember it. She's yeah. something else. And what's with the what's the little dumbbell in her other hand? I don't she get was, that. Because one. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was known for working out. Oh, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I wonder how she got that in her luggage and got that through TSA. She must have had to check her luggage or bought it there in Vegas. Something like that. Okay. So I have a video that just came out like uh like two minutes after we'd already started. And it is a I haven't done a video for Psychics Explained for a while because I've been in I've been in LA. And this one I'm starting kind of a series and it looks like Oh, uh, that's the first one. And I've already got a few views on it. I have an article coming out tomorrow in Skeptical. Well, it should be out any moment now in Skeptical Inquirer that is about a whole series of videos that I had did in analyzing, including one of the videos with Adrian Hill, who's just arrived. <laughs> there is Adrian. Adrian, you have anything new for um, Skeptic Zone? Welcome, welcome to attend. Thanks. Yeah, I, I'm reading the newsletter and I get to express my theory over the skeptics joining so-called skeptics joining yuri geller and you know get your uh, winning so oh yay <laughs> oh my gosh that has been the topic everywhere i crazy so i'm very i was very happy i get to introduce you to a couple of canadian words around that so <laughs> yeah that has been the topic i was standing in the magic castle talking to a magician a hobbyist magician when that came out and i said he says, oh, I thought that was quite good. Geller came out. Geller is, sounds like a nice guy. And I'm like, what? Wow. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. A I, lot of people have no idea of the history. He says, I said, Do you, he sued Randy and Psychop. He goes, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, well, yeah. It is a freaking article about it. It made Randy look like the bad person. Well, and to say that, that psychics have decided that he's you know joined ranks with Yuri Geller they obviously haven't been listening to the skeptic zone because I would say almost every newsletter I've read in the last year has had Yuri Geller in it doing something stupid so it's, yeah oh it's just like, yeah of course there's oh, yeah. well con men are are nice they're always nice and they're charming they're, they're and, that's, and you should always be suspicious of people who are very charming they're on the chair they are con men Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and it's like they they I mean I was what God it's early 70s so high school maybe almost college and I remember he came out and he said I am psychic I have these psychic abilities he never said he was a performer nope 
never said that. Well, well not only that, get Cindy, that, but as Adrian said, he sued people who said he wasn't psychic. Yeah. And, and he was saying he, he, he was like, yeah he said that they he had gifts from aliens or something yeah, that yeah. his powers but what i'm saying what the, they're forgetting is he never said he was a performer he right. always said he was a psychic and how can these guys forget that yeah. and and say he can be re rehabilitated he always lied about his abilities and i found that i found that amazing when i was reading the article yeah, the New York Times. The New York Times is like it had over the recent uh, history some really, really bad, not skeptical stuff in it, including, as I talked about with McQuest, but I think I edited it out because it was too long. Okay. Uh, Le Leslie Keen, who keeps, you know, she's she's a true UFO believer, yeah. and she interviews everyone like Gruff and is a, with no cre cre credulousness at all. Just everything they say is correct because she believes in it. And so, you know, she she's not a, she's not an employee of the New York Times, but they keep publishing our articles. So the New York Times is on the hook for yes, aliens are here and they're real. Yeah. <laughs> if I yeah. wasn't in it, I would be really upset. I I, would, I was like, I want to all the yeah, you know. Well, and the way they put he put the guy portrayed uh, Randy, I thought was unfair too. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. One, one paragraph all about him being Randy? vindictive and never forgiving. Yeah, putting a picture of Randy as an old man. That's yeah, not I right. don't, I don't understand the vitriol. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like what? And and him saying, equating the fact that Randy was wrong that he wrote in a book that he was going to become a faith healer or a psychic healer, and oh well, Geller never did. So therefore, you know, Randy's full of crap but that's yeah and, and they glossed over the fact that he charged co corporations probably millions of dollars yeah, for his fake ability yeah a million dollars each time yeah yeah, yeah. So that was fun. all right so as interesting as that is i would mm -hmm. love to discuss it further i suppose we should get on with the game and we're going to put adrian on a team mm -hmm. what team is going to get adrian what do you think uh, oh i, I wonder <laughs> i wonder which team is the worst Oh, wait, there's two teams <gasps> that are seven points. What? We're more, right, des we're more deserving. I didn't realize we weren't alone in the cellar. <laughs> I gave team one Karen, right? We 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 were the last in last place on the second round and then <laughs> And then and second to the last place on the first round, so we should get her. He's <laughs> gonna go to make America think again. <laughs> That's a good team. We're man. putting the Canadian on that team. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So we're up, Gail. You're up. Okay. Our next category. <laughs> and I want to tell everybody, and you'll understand in a second why I'm telling you. Jamie and I often chat on on uh on Messenger. But we did not, Jamie, you confirm this. We did not discuss the categories this week, right? We talked about no. how we were both doing them. Uh-huh. Because my category is product mascot. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. Something to this genetics after all, right? <laughs> oh, that is God. really weird. Okay, so. Um... <laughs> Are we being um, muted? Muted. muted? No, it's funny. Okay. Yes, yeah, it that is very funny. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> first question. You're... Question one. How did they find the model for the pigtail Wednesdays, Wendy's mascot? Number two. Lorraine Colette Peterson was a 17-year-old girl from Missouri who was asked to hold a tray of fruit for a watercolor portrait when she was at work in 1910. What product does her picture still represent today? Question three. The company had a new name and logo, has a new name and logo, because its old one was long criticized as being a racist stereotype. It is now called the Pearl Milling Company. 
What was the name that was used to represent the product and logo before it was changed, obviously? Okay, question four. An Italian immigrant became the head chef of the Plaza Hotel in New York City. When restaurant customers wanted to have his food at home, he made arrangements with the grocery store chain to market some of it. He used his own image, but he had to change the spelling of his name because Americans had trouble pronouncing it. What was that name? That is also the product name, by the way. Question six. What oh, I'm sorry, question five. What company did Elsie represent in the New York World's Fair in 1936? What company did her husband represent? That's an alternate. You can pick either one. Hint, they're both animals. So you want the company, there are two companies, one that Elsie represented and one that her husband represented. The answer is going to be your choice, either one. I don't understand. The animals were married? Yeah, well, obviously it's fictional, <laughs> right? They had a fictional marriage, and they had the animals at the fair. Oh, and they represented so two different companies. Hamilton wants that answer. Do you want that one? Question yeah. six. What was the first man who played Ronald McDonald in 1966? The actor we're looking for here. The man was the TV bozo the clown and was used as inspiration for a continuing campaign to interest children in their products. There are now literally hundreds of Ronalds representing McDonald's all over the country. So we want the man who was the first. Okay. Question seven. The Pillsbury Doughboy was given a name before he'd even been drawn. What What is his name? Question eight. Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe is the official name of the animated logo and mascot. What company has he represented in some form since the schoolboy won a contest with his drawing? When this fictional character died at 104, they had a funeral during the, during, uh, uh, during the, during Super Bowl 54. Question nine. Since she was created as the focus of a fictional... Okay. Since she was created as the focus of a fictional advertising campaign, her image has been updated several times since it was first drawn in 1923, 1921. But many people believe she was a real person since they saw her signature under the letters she wrote answering customer questions. What's her name? It's also the name for the product. And question 10. This man is a totally fictional character who has been representing his product since the 19th century. The product name and his image were designed to promote tradition and purity. And although his fashion is now out of style, Many products still use his image. What company does he represent? Okay. Any questions? So do you and Jamie have like a psychic link? or what, I mean, We must what? have. I, I, I couldn't believe it when I heard his category. That is really funny. <laughs> As you can see, mine was up there. We did not we did not talk about this at all. Where well, did you hear mine? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just be in the air, right? <laughs> 
Okay. Well, if you don't have any questions, uh, go to your rooms. Okay. Very good. I'll add Adrian and Bob. Hold on. Adrian's going to go to three. Bob goes to three. And I go to three. Wow. What? Yeah. Wait, Deborah, you're muted. You are correct. You are correct. I think you I'll, win. Uh, can anybody uh, post these things? Uh, does anybody have them to post? Yeah, I, I can do them. I got them right now. Here, who wants them? You want to just in chat in general? Hey, yeah. my chat seems to have stayed. Yeah, my chat stayed. Oh, so did mine. Look at that. So do you need so them? Where? Unless you just put it there. I just put them there. Um, it's number one. Well, that was uh, that was his daughter. It was yeah, the most. It was Dave Thomas's daughter. Yeah, that's so, correct. Oh, so they looked in the they looked in the house. Yeah, yeah. That to just say it's his daughter. That's sufficient, I think. Yeah, and you know, it's later in the commercials before he eventually died, but she became his granddaughter in the copy of the commercials. Really? To keep her young. <laughs> See. Yeah. Oh, well, he wasn't that old. He wasn't that old when he died. Well, I assume it's all weird now. Do you have the questions around here somewhere? I put them in the I put them in the chat. Oh, but we've got a screen share. So I don't can. You yeah, I know. I'm trying to get the darn thing to go back to the way it was. And it's not doing it because I went to share, share screen. And now I've got this other thing up and I don't know what this is. And uh, Are you screen right now. There, hang on. Okay, so so I thought he's I was. holding a tray of fruit. Is that the sun kissed logo? Where no, sun -made. maybe, maybe. What? Sun made. Sun made. Oh, yes. what the raisins? Oh, that the, the sun made. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yes. yeah. Okay. But, you, is, but that is that the raisins? Is that the raisins? Yeah. Sun made. Right. I got okay. the right picture, but I had. The I don't think off. I can do the chat and the screen share at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's all right. <laughs> The company has a new name and logo because this old one was long criticized as a racist. Could that be um, uh, Uncle, Tom, Uncle Tom's right? Uh, or big, uh, ben, Uncle Ben's rice? I think it's Aunt Jemima. Well, they didn't. They 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 changed her picture. It's yeah. still Aunt Jemima. Yeah, I think. but Aunt Jemima is not the name of the product. Yeah. Oh, they did. They did <laughs> change that. No, then the product was I think never Aunt Jemima. Jemima. I think it is Aunt Jemima. Well, anyway, it's the, okay. Well, then it's not anymore. Who's the pearl no, mining that's, company? That's what it says, right? It says that it's no longer called that. What was yeah. it? It was used to represent the product and logo because it became a racist stereotype. Okay. Well, that's what I was thinking about Uncle Ben's rice because I, I I thought I went out because uh, I, I I know they modernized uh, 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 the the image of Aunt Jemima, and I I, I, I think Aunt Jemima is going to. Answer yeah, the All right. Probably. Okay, number four. Italian immigrant became the head chief chef of Chef, Chef, Chef Boyardee. Yeah, yeah, Chef Boyardee. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, they he spelled it phonetically. Um, it was just I think it was B-O-I-A-R-D-I -I or something like that. What but company said boy did Elsie Arden. represented the board? Board, yeah. I was wondering, is board? I does it do? I don't remember. Is board in the states? I know it was in Canada. I couldn't remember if it no, was. We in had. We used to get milk from them when I was growing up. And, and Elmer's glue. And, uh, and her husband the, uh, was Elmer the bull. Elmer oh, the, look at that! Wow, the glue is strong as a bull, and it's also made of milk. It's there milk. was a it's bunch a of Elsies too, but the Elsie the cow got eventually got killed in a car wreck in New York. One of the <laughs> Was she driving? Yeah, no, she was driving. She, no, the the but, truck they, was carrying the Elsie got to, from you know like a county fair or something. Uh, there'd been you know two or three Elsies over the years, and then in the early fifties, uh, got killed in a wreck, and that kind of was people thought it was like you know like people treated it like there's a real person at the time. Well, it was uh, it, it was uh, one of the MGM lions was driving the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't ask Adrian. That was from a oh, previous okay. round. <laughs> you're, lying, you're lying, though. Who's the first man who played Ronald McDonald? <laughs> I don't know, Ronald Reagan. 
<laughs> oh, that's perfect. Thanks, Deborah. No. No. No, I can't see it myself, but okay. <laughs> oh, I said number two is sun, sun, sun made. Sun made, yeah, yes. You said that. Yeah. Said oh, okay. That. Sorry. I, I was I was trying to remember what you said. Well, sun, sun made. Sun made. Sun yeah. made. Okay. So, yeah, so either Borden's milk or Elmer's glue for for five. So who was the um, first Ronald McDonald? I thought, what did you guys say two or three was? Sorry. Aunt Jemima. Uh, Aunt, Aunt, Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Okay. Don't ask Matt as yeah, well. Um, Close enough. Um, I I heard. Oh, we better get going. What the heck? Step it up. Crazy. Step it up. Step it up. Gail, what's what the heck? Well, the other teams are done. Oh, well, we're not. We're not. Well, go. Disorganized. Go. Okay, Warren. Get the question. I'm all set now. Number nine. Okay, Pillsbury Doughboy has been who? No. The, no, it's the. Ronald McDonald. Um, Bob Bell was Chicago's bozo, but I don't think he was the original one. But I thought it was um, um, the the guy he played the weatherman on on, well, go, on go to the next America. Well, I can't think of his name. The big heavy. What was what was the tip? What was the Pillsbury Doughboy's name? Do we know something, something? I just saw that the other day, and I can't remember. Okay, what about hey, Bartholomew? Come on, come on. And number nine, would that be Betty Crocker? Oh, 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 it's Betty Crocker. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Betty Crocker. Oh, 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 the uh, Doughboy was Poppin' Fresh. Poppin' oh. Fresh, that's right. Okay, keep that's going. Right. Let's go quick. And uh, ten, oh, ten, 10 is, I think, uh, Quaker Oats, no? Yeah. I think so, you yeah. know. That's yeah. what I thought of. Yeah. Okay. Quaker Oats. Okay, number Quaker eight, Oats. do we know? Ronald McDonald. Hmm. No, this is the fictional character who died at 104 and had a funeral. Oh, yeah. Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe. Oh, geez, that's G R F S. And that was just a few years, a couple of years ago. Super Bowl. 16, 16, 16 seconds. Okay. Um, that's the only one we don't really have, huh? Okay. And Ronald McDonald. I have and Ronald Bob McDonald. Bell for Ronald McDonald. That's. Bob, Bob, who? I was thinking it was the guy from Monopoly, is what it is. Pretty quick. I, I think Kyle figured it out. This is all part of Susan's secret plan to commercialize our trivia. And she's seeking <laughs> sponsors. Brad, Brad, no, <laughs> psychically, I didn't know he was doing that. So I know. That makes total sense. sense. And obviously, oh. my questions are easier than his because we didn't know any of his. And I knew, I, I think you all did too well. I made these much no, too. you ended it on us. We were, we were, we were all Carl McDonald. Did your father work on any of these? <laughs> um, I'm going to. I I will put the answers on on uh, the screen, and then I'll put them in the chat afterwards. Although I okay. think you're not going to need it because I think you basically got it. Question one. She's Wendy. Uh, Melinda Thomas is her daughter is his daughter, so they didn't have to look very far. They just went to his family. I put the basement because you said where. <laughs> <laughs> so was she in the basement when they found her? Intellectual where. How did they find her? Right? And number two, it's the sun made that sun made raisins. Good job. Good going, Jane. Good going. Yeah. And three oh, was Aunt no. Jemima. I saw yeah. some of the teams were talking about Uncle Ben's Uncle Ben. We Ben's talked to ourselves out. Oh, you guys are right, Aunt Jemima. But that's you're why right. I put in the Pearl Milling Company. That's the new stuff to get rid of. Uh, you're right. Weird. Okay. okay. Chef Boyardee. His Ooh, name was yay. spelled differently, but he changed the spelling. Yeah, he spelled it phonetically. And Elsie and Elmer were at the World's Fair, so you could either have Borden's or Elmer's Glue. The presumption was that those two were married, and those were the two companies they represented. Where's the guy? I don't see well, him. Well, I only had a picture of Elsie. So is the into glue. What is the company that makes uh -huh. Elmer's Glue called? They made is the glue out of her feet. <laughs> no, it's, it's a casein glue. It comes from milk. It's based okay. on a milk protein. No, that's not what I asked. The question was, what company? Is Elmer's Glue Borden, the name of the Elmer. company? Well, Elmer's company. the company. Uh, Borden's. Willard Scott. Oh my gosh. Willard Scott, who went on to become uh, a weatherman. 
Yeah, weatherman. Yeah. No way. Did Wait. he play Bozo? Really? The guy who was a hundred? Yeah, well, no, 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 no. This oh, is no. He this celebrated was, was people that Ron, Ronald McDonald. He actually wasn't Ronald for very long. They got him from the. He was playing Bozo. They decided to use him, but they have Ronald McDonalds all over the country doing different things. There are literally hundreds of them now, and they. He was a big man, and they couldn't find enough other people to play Ronald that were big, so he lost his job. Mm. That or he had, he had to lose some weight. And it was based on his character. Interesting. And it was called oh, Pop and Fresh. We did not know that. Name. Is, is right. that Marsha uh, Brady? Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah. Number eight. Maureen McCormick. Mr. I remember Tina. that. Oh, I thought that the Mr. name would be the Oh, my sister. gosh. And apparently they actually had a funeral for him at 104, and he's no longer oh, there. Yeah. He apparently died. I remember this. And, th and then oh, they dropped yeah, him. That's sad. You know, he went out in disgrace. They found out he was running a, a shell game. <laughs> <laughs> that just spread. A rumor spread around. They just found he was, they found he was nuts. People with nut allergies oh. did not attend his funeral. Yeah. Number nine is Betty Crocker. And Yay. those are pictures of, four pictures of her. Uh, many people still think she's a real person, and she was totally a fictional character. Yeah, she looks like, looks like she's got, got that uh, Benjamin Button thing. Benjamin going on. Button, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. dating her in reverse. <laughs> they did say, they they did treat her as if she was real. And finally, Yay. the Quaker uh, Quaker Oats man. Oh, good. Oh, he's yeah. fancied up a little bit. Got hotter and hotter. <laughs> yep. Very okay, good. I will. I will put. Very good, Gail, and you didn't you didn't duplicate any of your brothers. Um, <laughs> not, not at all. questions. That would have been funny. I have a a, a Will and Scott story. I had wrote a letter to David Letterman, and he put it on TV, and it's basically Will and Scott answers the letter, so it's kind of funny. I'll post a link to it later. Okay. Cool. All right. But so let's do our scores. Here oh, we go. That's right. Scores first. Let's see how we did. Are we catching up? I keep throwing human beings at these lower scored uh, teams. Let's see if they made a big difference. So I just gave Adrian to team three, which was Gail's team. What is uh, Make America Think Again? Hmm. Oh, we had eight. Not bad. Good job. Probably everybody else got 10. I was though. on the team too. I just want to say, <laughs> just, just want to mention that. Putin declares all <laughs> Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO membership. Seven. Hey, that's that's all right. And in Putin, Russia, jogging yap steps on you. Ten. Yep. Ooh, wow. Taking it up a notch there. RFK says water makes you gay. I think that's going to be in a shirt soon. Ten. There you go. And let's see if Vermont petitions government to sell water to California has a perfect nine score again. No, we had a perfect 10 score this time. Wow, wow, wow. Look at they're still in the lead by one. Look at that, you guys. The bottom, <laughs> the bottom. Don't worry, you guys. I will be on team four in a minute. So oh, so much for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is that's the equalizer factor. Here comes Susan. The equalizer. So. All right. I'm out of milk duds, so I don't know what we're gonna do. It's kind oh, of no. a, it's kind of a, a mystery category. I'm gonna give you hints and questions about things. You have to guess what I'm talking about, and each answer is different. But then, oh, it's like a regular conversation with. I you. was just gonna say, <laughs> yeah. what's the difference between just normally listening to you? That's yeah, you that's know. how I that's how I roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So what's okay. the category called? Um, hints and questions about something. Okay. Well, that rolls right off the tongue. It wow. does. It, size, and, <laughs> size and whispers. Guess the something. I guess I could say. Guess the guess, something. Guess the something. All right. What the some? What is the something? Okay. Guess. Here's something. the first two. Hints or questions about something. You can mute people if you want. I'm gonna give you hints or questions about something. You need to name the something. And spelling doesn't count. That might be a hint. Anyway, the first answer is, here's, a, here's the hints. 
Chimera from James Bond, Thumper from Absolutely Fabulous, Helios 2 from Syriana, Stugatz from The Sopranos, Flying Fox from Jeff Bezos, Serene from Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, and Minnow from Jonas Grumby. What am I talking about? Number two, Poppycott, Bell Leenheim, Aprium, August Glow, Katie King, Manchurian, Montrose, Wenachi, Morpac, Apache, Gold Kiss, Flavor Giant, and Tilton. Lots of hints for one thing. Number three and four. Here they come. Where's my check? Hints, plain, concave, convex, non-reversing, silver, half-silvered, acoustic, one-way, two-way, parabolic, periscope, magnifying. Hint four. I can't even say it. Bracleo, celific, inferior vena cava, weather, fan, windmill, propeller. Okay. Hints for number five coming at you. Dorothy Gale, lacking in worldly wisdom or informed judgment. Innocent, inexperienced, simple, unsophisticated, immature, ingenious, uncru uncritical, trustful, credulous. Spell backwards, it's a popular brand. Number six, this one I almost didn't put in. It's just too easy. Stratus, Cumulus, Cirrus, Alto, Nimbus. That's almost a free point. Seven and you eight. shouldn't give that hint, Kevin, because you know what will happen in this team. They'll overthink it. They'll Good. say, oh, well, that was so Good. easy. That, maybe, that's, maybe that's what I'm plotting. Okay. So somebody gets it wrong. You know how these people are. Seven, New England, Death Wish, Stumptown, Busy. Pete's, Lavaza, and Illy. Number eight, questions with the hints. Considered the fourth gem in the Triple Crown, the Travis Stakes is a thoroughbred horse race held in New York State. It is nicknamed the Midsummer Derby. First held in 1864 is the oldest stakes race in the United States, specifically for three-year-olds. Name the track or the city or the county where this race is run. And two more questions. So when people go to this race, um uh, don't ask questions because somebody you'll give in hints. No, I'm just gonna say when if you're three years old, how do you get in without an adult? Do they let the adults in too? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Peggy's Cove. It. Peggy's Cove is known for its famous lighthouse, which is one of the most photographed lighthouses in the second smallest province in Canada. Name the province. I couldn't find my photos. I do have them. I've been there. Question 10. This phenomenon occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. Name it. Now, if you can figure the theme, it may help you answer some of the other questions you might not know. Oh, there's a theme. Go to your rooms. Okay, let me share the mess that I made here of everything you just gave us. Yeah, one of them is cloud. That's it. Okay, that's, that's no six, bad. Right? Yeah, so, okay, so six, the answer is clouds. Seven, it's coffee. Because we drink Pat's, Pete's and Lavazza coffee. Oh, yeah, Pete's. Pete's is my favorite. Pete's um, is made by children. It's made by enslaved people. Over in the in the African country, they put the coffee in. Ron doesn't care. Well, we could tell them they make good coffee anyways. As long as it's not made by cats. Yeah. 
enslaved cats. And nine is Nova Scotia. I've been there. Ten is eclipse. Well, it's that's the between the moon passes between the sun and the earth is a solar eclipse. Yeah. I still haven't figured out the um theme yet. Okay. So can you go scroll yeah, over? Yeah, let me work. Yeah. Let me work my way back up here. I mean, so three are, are mirrors. Mirror. Those are mirrors. Uh huh, mirrors. Clouds in my coffee. Clouds in my coffee. Could it be from the song You're So Vain? Which one? Well, theme. Oh, the theme of the. Is Nova Scotia, Scotia solar eclipses and mirrors in the song? Yeah, because remember uh, in that song, uh, You're So Vain, um, the last part of it is that um, he went to Nova Scotia to see a total eclipse of the uh -huh, moon, of the sun. I figured out the theme. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's You're, you're so, vain. so Vain. And we got that from Clouds and Coffee. He should not have put those two words together. Do we get an <laughs> extra point for that? No, but it should help us figure out the rest of it. I just realized that my mute had been on this whole time. And went, why is no one listening to me? Because uh, we're ignoring number you. one is a, a ship or a boat. Because uh, Grumby was the skipper in Gilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. And the Stugats was the boat that uh, Tony Soprano had. So, okay. Do you guys know the song? You're so vain. Uh, yeah. Um, you went to see my yacht. I, I think it's a yacht. So vain. Well, I wouldn't consider the SS Minnow a yacht. I guess not, but I thought that was in the song itself. Oh, well, no, you could. It's definitely a boat or a ship or some sort. Uh, two, I think, are apricots. Um, do you remember anything in the song about apricots? Maybe a drink? Or something. Is apricot wine in the song or something? Can't remember the lyrics. I can't. I only remember the chorus. Yeah. Sometime. So if it's definitely that song, then three would be mirrors instead of lenses, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have mirrors yeah. down there. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I tried to say what I said. I thought they could also be lenses, but my mute was on. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's true too. <laughs> So we're still missing two. So four. Uh, so the Vinica, that's Vinikov, it's part of the heart. But I'm trying to figure out how everything else fits in there. Yeah, brachiocephalic is the brain. Uh, but then you get weather fan, windmill, propeller. Heart. heart. Vein. Well, Vinikov, it's a vein. It could be a word in front of those, like mirror was. Well, he's normally good about when he does stuff like this. It's actually in the order, the lyrics of the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, huh. That's why he put Todd's and Coffee together. Yeah. Nova Scotia, solar eclipse. Solar eclipse of the sun. Um, but that would be 11. But, there's, um, but yeah, I'm trying to think the early words in there to figure out well, where. Well, there's total eclipse of the heart. That's yeah, another but, song. Right, but this is all definitely You're So Vain by Carly Simon because I went to Nova Scotia to see a uh, total eclipse of the sun. Mm -hmm. It's one of the lyrics in there, and then there's Clouds in My Coffee, which is these two. Okay. And there is something about going on to what I thought was a yacht, but it could just be a boat or a ship or something like that early on because the thing is about this guy who was really vain about himself. I wonder what our brand new people think of this, because they play serious trivia. <laughs> I warned her. Well, we so why don't we could leave Yacht if we think the Yacht was in the thing tonight? I'm, yeah, I... I'm, I'm, I'm sure two are varieties of apricots, though. 
because the Tilton was a giveaway to me. Okay, yeah, and it's possible. I, I actually, I think apricot is the color of his s of his scarf, or oh, okay. That I think is one of the well, lines in sense. there that your 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 scarf is apricot. So good one there. I've never paid this close attention to that song before. It's just the I've heard I've heard it so many times that so, the lyrics pop so up. The, Dorothy Gale, that you know, that's from Wizard of Oz. Right. Innocent. So those all were Innocent is probably a word that's in there. But I don't know why what about naive? Gale would be innocent. What about naive? Naive is good because ah. that's Evian backwards. Ah. Very good. I bet you. Except now the way I'm trying to, because these are kind of going in pairs. Well, maybe not apricot and mirrors. I think those are separate. Well, one and two could be. Could there be an ascot? Or a scarf, would you say? Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, it's the color of this. I thought it was the scarf. Is is your scarf is apricot? It's one of the lyrics in there, which is where the apricot part goes. But I well, don't know which one would be for scarf. Number eight, I had I had a guess, but can you think of a, a horse race that is mentioned in the song, or a location of a horse race? <laughs> It must it must be something else because it says the answer is track or the city or the country. So could it be Count County? County? I mean, could it be like Louisville or Kentucky? Well, he says it's a New York State, a horse rate horse rate. So if I was assessing that with Saratoga. Maybe. And I think you're right, because I think Saratoga's in the song. How yes. would it be in the song? Because she went up to see the and your horse naturally won. Is one of the lines in the song. Oh. You went to see the race in Saratoga or wherever, and your horse naturally won. Now I remember that line. Gee, Ron. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, yeah, you could be 70 years old, and every once in a while, the brain, kid, you know, the brain cells kick <laughs> in occasionally. Sudden, it kicks in for the song, We're So Vain, that you've heard a zillion times. So I think we've now gotten everything except for four. Or, should we come up with one? Should it be yacht or should it be? Well, we could say boat, yacht, ship, whatever. Just it should fit the song. Yeah, I, I think well, you're gonna I'll have to get for, the right I'll one. I'll vote for yacht then. I mean, everything except for the minnow fits into a yacht. I, you're right. I don't really look at the minnow as a yacht, but it could be. I guess. Yes, it's yeah, a small it's a yacht, yacht because people were able to sleep on it, and you know. It's, yeah. It had big people on it. That's the so, yacht. Okay, so, so we need four. So four. You're so vain. I think it's got to be. Could that be vain? You know, I think it's vain. vain. I, yeah, I think it is vain because you know, propeller, vain. windmill, those have veins yeah, on them. A fan has veins. He <laughs> says spelling <laughs> doesn't count, and he says that's a hint. Okay, well, that Boom. makes sense now. We got it. There you go. You know what? You guys blew it. We should have taken down the screenshot. We should have been talking about something else and, and act like we didn't know what we did. We got it, Kevin. We got all 10. <laughs> and, the bo and the bonus, which really did help. <laughs> you know what? You know what it was, Kevin, is you put clouds and coffee together. And I looked at those two words together. I said, clouds in my coffee. <laughs> that was it. That and same then, thing happened. And then to Ron remembers the song. I, yeah. I watched. I watched two people figure it out. It's the aha moment is really kind of cool. Yeah. I was watching Faith. All of a sudden, she smacks her heads and she starts singing. Yeah, and, and that's <laughs> and, and it's like I can't remember the lyrics, but every once in a while, someone would throw up there and I, or something up there, and I suddenly remember like, um, you know, Paula said apricot, and I think where the hell is that coming there? So I remember you're. Your uh, scarf is apricot. You know, th that started hitting me that, okay, I'm remembering these lines. Your horse naturally Your won. That's the Saratoga. Whatever. whatever. This, Hopefully, this might have been too easy. This might have been too easy. Uh, what do you yeah. think of the new people? Did they play and what do they think of it? I don't know yet. Because this I, is I like, jumped, I, 
I stayed in one room. It's not the kind of trivia they're used to. I stayed in one room until they had the aha moment. And then I jumped and I was in there a little too long. I didn't get to see the aha moment until uh, just two groups. I like that. I like to see when people, oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know that number two, I would never get that. But when you get the song, you know, you can figure it out if you know the lyrics. Uh, pa- Paula came Paula up with right the away. apricot I, right away. Two of them I recognized as apricot. Some people know it. That see, that's the one that, yeah. that gives you an advantage over other teams. That didn't but know. I don't know the song. <laughs> I know the I know the song, but I don't know the lyrics. Do you yeah, know why spelling doesn't apricot. count? <laughs> well, that's that that's the vein. Yeah, it's You're vein. D so i n v a n e. Yeah. That you think the song is about ya. Everybody's gonna be singing when we go back. Oh yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> not me. Put the two minutes. There he comes. You're so vain. But this this was definitely a fun one. Yeah, yeah. It was better better to have something different from the one from what we've been doing. That well, the, the, the list of coffees, I was surprised that New England coffee is one of the most popular ones. I did the, the most popular coffees, and New England is like number one. I'm surprised. I guess a lot of restaurants use it. Okay, because we drink pizza and lavazza all the time. So yeah, pizza, my said wife buys pizza. Even, even though I've been told that they use slave labor in uh, Africa. He says they use slave labor. Of no, they do. They do. That was on NPR. Mm. They were talking about um, how they hardly pay the people they have working for them. So there's practically slaves and they're using underage people. It's bad, Ron. They use kids, you know, because the coffee's what comes from Africa. I have to take a look at where it comes from. One of the countries in Africa. As long as they're not grinding up kids. Yeah, that might have been too easy category. I think everybody's going to get a 10, unless they forgot the lyrics. Well, if. If I was the only person on my team, I wouldn't have gotten it because I don't know the lyrics. Uh, you gave us enough hints that we could fill in the rest, <laughs> so that worked. Yeah, I think this one will be a little bit higher scoring. And I, I kept talking about Martha's Vineyard. That's where Kali Simon lives. How does he? Oh, okay. I don't know these things. I was giving hints all night. Why? To make it fun. And you get the connection. <laughs> I want. Is everybody humming the same song? <laughs> <laughs> or I should say, anybody not singing, humming a song. Did anybody, well, not, get, did anybody not get the uh, theme? There, there was a song? <laughs> <laughs> I got a kick out of. Out of uh, when Faith did it, she says, like, this is the weirdest Billy Joel song. And then she's <laughs> back there by a second. I was like, what if clouds and coffee have to do together? Yeah. And I was like, that, that clouds blood. in my coffee? Clouds that blood. Coffee. Just having those two words next to each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, that did it. Yeah, you can't see those two words without. There it is. And do you know the, who it's about? Supposedly, it's about uh, Warren Beatty. Yeah. The answers yeah. out for those on uh, who are watching yep. are millions you of people into watching. The party like you were walking onto a yacht. Your hair strategically dipped below one eye. Your scarf it was apricot. So yeah. those types of apricots we did not get that. We guessed scarf. We actually guessed scarf because we didn't know. Your scarf it was apricot. You you had one eye in the mirror. A lot of apricots. Yourself walked by. And, uh, you're so vain. You had me several oh, years ago when I was so quite vain. naive. Quite naive, yeah. And you probably think this song is about you. Yeah. You had clouds in my coffee, clouds in my coffee. I hear you went up to Saratoga in Saratoga Springs in Saratoga County. So there's really only one answer there. And uh, flew your Learjet up. I almost used Learjet, but I didn't. Up to Nova Scotia to see the total eclipse of the sun. Mm-hmm. Very good, Kevin. I'm running out of songs. Did anybody oh, ever on. figure out if there was actually a total eclipse scene from Nova Scotia in the time frame when that song was written? Don't know. Only a skeptic like you would try to figure that out. It just had I, to wanna, I want next week. I want to see that 
logo uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. And Rob, we need a we need something from you about what happened with the total eclipse of the sun during that song. Mm -hmm. Or <laughs> not during did that it. song, it could have been before. Let's yeah, get yeah. Right, well, like what before. Kyle? Well, Kevin, earlier I think you meant to share a different link. It wasn't the Sitco. It was some like uh, like YouTuber guy. Oh, yeah, it was about it was about Trump. Uh, it, must have went to the it went to the next one. I went to the next video by accident. Oh, the song, yeah, I don't see. No, it. I, I I I copied it. It played, and then oh. I copied what was on there. It was going to the yeah. next one, whichever that. March was. March seventh, uh, nineteen seventy. And when was right. the song written? And when was the song written? Or released? Was it, was it after, after that? that? After yeah, that. Yeah, but that so, doesn't yeah. mean that that's not when when right, he went to see sense. it. Yeah, so that makes sense that it could Very have been a good. real event. Thank you for singing. checking that out, yeah. Alan. Because we Thank have you. to have the facts right because you know you. social. Do we get points? Do we get extra points for that? <laughs> you get extra points for that. Alan. In an interview, Carly Simon said that it was not about Warren Beatty. Yeah, um, I always thought that. it was about Mick Jagger. Yeah, he's in it though. He sings in the background. You can hear him singing it. Oh, actually, I had heard it was uh, James Taylor. Is actually is one I heard. Mm. No, that's he's when denied. she sang she's Taylor. Denied. That's, that's uh, Taylor. I, the, you you're no, I'm no virgin. Is James Taylor? I think. Well, when mm -hmm. she sings, tell her, tell her, you belong to me. Some people think she's saying Taylor, Taylor, you belong to me. Oh. it's about Taylor Swift. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she was. Predicting well, she was named after James Taylor. <clears throat> yes, Taylor says that was one of okay. my questions. So let's do our scores and we are going to move. You missed over. that round, Mike. I think that was one of my uh, Taylor Swift questions. Let's see how we did. All right. Let's see if we've got some points made up. So Putin declares all Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO membership. Nine. Good job. All right. Make America think again. Nine. Uh, no, we had ten. My soup? Where's my soup? We had nine. We, How, we had what did we miss? The first answer. Oh, we did. Apricots. Okay. Uh, in Putin, Russia, what? jogging app steps on you. Okay. Ten. All right. RFK says water makes you gay. Ten. And Vermont petitions government to sell water to California. Ten. I was oh. on that team. I went to Asia. Just, just saying. I Who have to stand up for moment? myself. Who had the aha have moment in each group? Who was the first one? Rob. I witnessed it in two groups. Rob. Yeah, I witnessed Rob and I witnessed Faith. Faith was funny because oh, she got I, spill I think joy. Mike Wolf had it right away. Okay, I want you guys to be very, very kind because Lee is doing his very first category, so. Remember, everything is perfect. Everything's fine. So Everything's Lee sent them great. to somebody to check out. Who do we blame when we don't like it? Uh, I don't think nobody oh, checked, yeah. anybody checked it out. But Lee's oh, been here about oh. ten round, ten games now. So, oh, so before we go to Lee's turn, I have to ask, who's going to be playing next week for our categories? Because I got nothing. Oh, I can do one. Rob, I can do one. Adrian. Jordan, what kind of nose is that? Is Jordan just volunteering? It looks no, like it. I think Jordan's nose. volunteering. Put them down. No. I'm volunteering for what? For a category. category. For a round? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You better not move when I'm asking for volunteers because that's what happens. <laughs> you start there's, moving. There's an easy way to solve that. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm waiting for Mike. You see how still Mike is. Oh, ah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Do it. He, I got the Barbie movie next week or Oppenheimer. Or um, Barbie Heimer. One for you, Susan, if you need it. Peggy. You know, Amy Schumer was associated with that uh, film originally, 2016. Oh. Mark yeah. says I'm sick and I act like her or I look like her or something. He's always yeah. asking, you and Amy Schumer. I need a bonus in a category. Oh, I'm on? Well, no, I need a bonus in a category. For next, For next week. week. Okay, the I'm category. Seeing... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm always available to do either or. Let's give you uh, Let's give you time. bonus. Okay. I need a category. I'm going to start singing. 
<laughs> I'm always willing, but I just did it today. So I know. Let's see if somebody sticks up. You're so uh, great. Bob, ha Bob has not done one in a while. I think, I think you, this thing, this song is about you. You're so great. Bob, please, Manny, please, Manny, please Manny. stop her, Susan. Bob, Bob, please. Why don't you stop sing Susan. Manny again? I don't know, Manny. Bob, yes, you, you did. You used no. to sing Manny. Oh, oh Manny. No, oh, no. Manny. It. It's oh. so it's, good to see you, Manny. It's, oh. it's actually Mandy, but she was singing Manny. Yeah. <laughs> ben, how about how about one? Deborah's, of, yeah. Deborah's, about Deborah's thinking about it. How about Ben? No, I just did one. Ben can do one. <laughs> Ben, Jane. Ben, ben can do what I might oh. like. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm going to put Gail. Okay, Gail, you're up. I tried. Oh, okay. But thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so everybody on your best behavior? Is everybody? Everybody? All right. You be your best, best person. All right, Lee, you are up. It's. Hey, thank you. Okay, well, anyway, I've, in the past, we've often talked about uh, why don't we do more things talking about Canada. So this one kind of has a little bit of a Canadian theme. And everyone talks about Canada being our friends to the north. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> but I, it's, it's our hand. Is in geography. And what's interesting is that there's parts of Canada that are south of a lot of the United States. So the southernmost inhabited area of Canada is called an island called Middle Island and Lake Erie at latitude 41.7 degrees north. <coughs> okay, so a lot of the states in the U.S. are more northernly than the southernmost part of Canada. As a matter of fact, there are 13 states with 100% of their territory north of Middle Island's 41.7 degrees. There are an additional 14 states that have at least some part of their area north of latitude 41.7. So your job is to name at least 10 of those 14 states that have a little portion of their territory north of Middle Island. So not the ones that are completely north of it? Not the ones that are completely north, just oh, the ones that are I like partially. It. Tricky. Okay, oh, is this going to be mono rules? Because we got what twenty four choices. Now there's only the the ones that are partial. Fourteen, 14 choices. Fourteen yep. choices. Oh, 14 Lee, that's not a, that's not really enough for mono. Yeah, model. I can't do mono rules. Lee, do you have any? Do you have anything to put in the chat that that describes what you just said? U.S. states north of Canada. Name them. No. Oh. Partly. That's part. Partly north. Partly north of I, mean, I don't want any arguments after. Yeah, very partly. Very partly. <laughs> well, let's have them now, right? Okay, U.S. states partly north of Canada. Good? Not totally. Uh, partly north of the other both piece of Canada. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. Okay, so well, let's go to our rooms. So I want you to send everybody to the rooms, Lee. Can you do that? Go to breakout rooms. Oh, hang on, let me... And then you'll see a blue button on the lower right. It's called Open yeah, All Rooms. On. There. Okay. Now, how do I do it again? <laughs> yeah, open up breakout rooms at the bottom, the four squares that are at the bottom of your screen. See that? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. And then it says open all rooms. It's a blue thing that shows up. Okay. There now, you go. Everybody Very goes to the rooms now. What you're yeah. going to do is, Lee, just hold on for just a second. You are going to be able to bounce from room to room. So if you look at the breakout room, you see how it how the it says room one, two, three, four. And yes. then on the very far right side, it, it says, says join. join. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be able to go from room to room by hitting those join buttons. You go and okay. that way you you flitter around the rooms. So you you can go to room five, but you don't want to stay in room five because room five is going to be recorded because I'm going to be in room five. So you want to look at room one, two, three, and four mostly. Four. Because you can go back and look at yours later. Oh, here comes Mike. I get okay. Through. So what you want to do is when you you go through and when you feel like everybody's kind of needs is about two minutes in, they need about two minutes, then you're going to go and and do your two minute warning, which is the close all rooms, which is that red button on the right hand side. Right. See, 
And so, which the hard part is, it's fun to go in and watch these people discuss it and argue, but you got to keep a straight face because you can't hint. So some people- That's going to be so, tough. You know, so some people use one of the Zoom things and they put a mask on their face or like Carl always does it like this. Um, and you should go into the rooms muted because otherwise you'll get tempted to give a hint. So be very careful, but it's fun to watch. So okay. have fun. I'm going to go to your room and screw them up. Because that's what I'm confused about. Maine. Oh, did somebody keep a track? Um, okay, Maine is not one of them. Maine is probably too far north. Yeah. And neither is a New York. Well, let's see. New York goes to Alaska. Too Alaska is too far north. Wait, wait, wait. I thought the thing was to say who is north of this. Only island. partially north of, yeah, you know, what basically what it is, where that line of latitude goes through one of our states. So it's not. Yeah. Okay. Alaska, when, we're, when we were up in Alberta, we were at 52.7 and we still were not at a latitude that Alaska reached. Yeah. So this is in Lake Erie, which is right above Ohio. Right. Yeah. And like that, that latitude, what states cross that latitude? Montana? No. Maybe. Ohio. No, because Michigan. No, Michigan is all about entirely above, so it doesn't count. You don't think that part of it sticks down because it goes below Ohio, Michigan, doesn't it? Like, well, it. what about uh, so? Does this? Oh, Washington is is entirely above. Because uh, 45th parallel goes through Oregon. Okay, so then Oregon would work. Idaho? I think Idaho, uh, would, I, Idaho would probably be one of them. Because Idaho goes, Idaho Is touches tip both, part of it. it. It touches both Washington and Oregon. South Dakota. South Dakota, Wyoming. Wyoming, yes. Okay. Iowa. Iowa. What about Colorado? Mm, I don't think it's high. Utah. But if Wyoming is, Colorado is not. Okay. So what did you say right before Idaho? Hmm? You said something right before Idaho or right after Idaho. Uh, Iowa. Okay, Iowa. What about South Dakota? I'm not sure if it's far enough south. What do we have so far? Oregon, Wyoming, Idaho, no. and Iowa. What do you have, Bill? I don't have anything written down right now. I'm just... Okay. Okay. So we have, oh. We're sure about Wyoming and Iowa. And Ohio. Ohio. And Oregon. Indi uh, Indiana and Illinois. Are you, how do you feel about Oregon? Uh, what's the latitude of the uh, California Oregon border? Uh, I think it's. Hmm. What about Idaho? Seems like the top of it would be. No, uh, if if Idaho, then Oregon. If okay, because if you've got Wyoming, then Idaho, because part of Idaho touches Wyoming. And you think New York's too far north? Yeah. What about like Manhattan area? It's pretty far south. Where'd you say Romero? Then if it was okay. Manhattan, then if it was Manhattan, you'd include New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey. 
Pennsylvania. I was thinking Pennsylvania. What about West Virginia? Okay. I don't, I, okay. This is the or California Oregon border is about 42, which means California, yes, Oregon, Idaho, no. Okay. Nevada. You said California? Yeah. yeah. So I've got Wyoming, Iowa, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, California, South Dakota. If it's California, if it's below that, then South Dakota might be north. Kansas? Isn't that Arkansas before? Okay. Well, Nebraska. Ohio. Nebraska, that's what. Nebraska. Something more on the East Coast? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What about those little states? And, and New York. York. Connecticut. Sure about New York? New Hampshire. New Hampshire's too far. I'm not positive. New Hampshire, definitely no. Um, Rhode Island? Rhode Island's too far north. New Jersey? Vermont? Hmm? Rhode Island. Uh, what did you say, Susan? I said Vermont. What did you say, Romero? Vermont is too far north. So I'm not from the East Coast, so it doesn't... Yeah, Vermont, Vermont, and New, Vermont and New Hampshire are right next to each other, and they're above New York, so they're they're too far north. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that won't work. What'd you say? Yeah, New Jersey, maybe. New Jersey. Mm, I'm not sure whether it goes far, far enough north. What about Minnesota? Oh, good guess. Um, uh, no, it's too far north. Too far north. Parts of it? No. Illinois. We have Illinois listed already. And it's I am so we have Nebraska and Iowa, therefore South Dakota and Minnesota, no. We got nine, I think, right? Utah? Nevada? Nevada and Utah, yes. Okay, then we've got our 10. Okay, well, I've got 11, so which one's... If you want to put Nevada and... Utah. Okay, well, yeah, I've got 11, too. So do we want to take off New York? I don't even have New York on the list. So I'll take New York off. I have, list. One, two, three, I've got Wyoming, Iowa, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, California, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Utah. Did you I say Indiana? It, what? Did you say Indiana? Yes. Did you say Illinois? Illinois. Illinois. Did you say that? Yes. Okay, you took Oregon. Off, right? You don't pronounce the S at the end. Did you take Oregon off? Yes. Okay, that's why. Okay, now I think we have the same one too. We don't have Washington. 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 If, if we took Oregon off, way too Washington. far north. He dislikes me saying it. We were in Washington. <laughs> in Did you Utah, say it right? Did you Indiana say it? A week ago. Did you call it right? Oops! Wow, that's dark. Good the job. Fuck Texas trip. How about Texas? Fuck Texas. That was Why? that was our whole thing. That was our whole thing. Why? Because of the flight delays and the airport issues. Like the airport is really nice. Just their weather's crap. Yeah, they kept telling us about um uh, liberal cities. Uh, you should get away from liberal cities. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in Idaho, when we were being, we had our Lyft driver take us back to our Airbnb. We got the first, uh, the Second Amendment spiel. Um, how all lives matter. All this stuff. The one Uber driver said that. Uh, did not go to liberal states because they have too many homeless people. Mm -hmm. But Dallas had way more homeless people than we have here in our liberal city. I haven't been to Texas since I was probably 13. It was hot. It was hot. But I envision that as climate impact gets worse and you have a more 
increasing weather swings, you're going to see more delays like this with flights because they had huge downpour with thunder and lightning. I just, Kyle Polish's name just came up on Wikipedia right now. I just got a alert saying that you have a, the David Pallades page and they mentioned Kyle Polish like just in seconds ago. <laughs> That's funny. They don't like Kyle Polish. Do we have a uh, Wikipedia page? No, uh, but Kyle was the, we never heard of David P uh, Pallades first. He's the guy who does Missing 411. And Kyle wrote a bunch of articles and stuff about it from the data science area. And so we got it all put on the Wikipedia page. And every so often, somebody's going to have some nasty thing to say about Kyle. And I have a video. I had the original video because Kyle spoke at our, our uh, skeptic camp. We never, nobody had heard of this thing before, but he, he wrote about it. And I said, he gave a talk. And so I get, I've got like thousands of views on this one video and then all my other videos have like 12 <laughs> views, but this one, boy, people hate him. It's hilarious. We're always getting nasty comments about Kyle. Not nasty. They, they just, they're not that bad. They're just like, who is this guy? What is it? Why does he have to say, you know, anyway, it's just funny because this name just came up seconds ago. I bet he's so. Uh... Debunking. Yeah, he debunked the video. I mean, he debunked the, the, the thing. Are we ready to go back? I think so. I don't know if Lee knows. Let's see. Oh, here it comes. Okay, we're all done. Do you want to, how's everybody else doing? You're muted. Yeah, a few teams are still struggling, but most everybody's done. So maybe it's time for the two minute. Two minutes, yeah, this. go for it. So, what'd you think? Uh, not too bad. I, uh, I don't know. Like I said my degree's in geography, so I wanted to do something kind of geographical. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so close all rooms. It's under breakout rooms. Yeah. He disappeared. How come he disappeared? Did he leave the room? Did he leave the game? No, he's. I think he's in the main room. He's in room. He's here. It says he's in. He left instead of closing the room. Maybe. Uh, it says. Oh no! Here he goes. He goes. Oh, he must be in the main room. Okay. Well. Good job. So, Faith and Romero, where are you guys going next? No, yeah, we haven't even started thinking. No, I'm looking at camper vans right now. I'm still. We're really considering buying one after this last trip. Why? And I'm still recovering from the from the trip. Yeah, that. If you get a camper van, then you always have to leave from from your area. I don't think you can go as far unless you quit your jobs or work just remotely only. I've I've looked at that, <laughs> trying to figure out how to make it work, but. Even if it's like where we can just drive up, you know, up the East Coast or down to Florida or something like that to go to different places or the mountains, it's it's much more convenient to be in the vehicle where you don't have to pay for hotels and you can cook and do all that. It's just what's in what we can afford because some of them are like it's like literally taking out a second mortgage. Well, if you just keep renting them, would I mean you guys only go a few times, a couple times a year, right? Yeah. And then yeah, you always yeah. have the upgraded. We're vehicle. researching. We're researching. So. Because well, you said that that allows you to, uh, you don't have to start from home. Mm -hmm. can... Yeah, because what if you guys want to drive up to Alaska? Can you imagine driving from North Carolina to get to Alaska? There's all your vacation, just getting to Alaska. But if you rent something in Alaska, then you're, you can just go. Yeah, and Canada has a lot of camper van options. We saw people that were renting their particular brands. And then you always have the newest model. So whatever, see, I guess I'm, I'm more thinking renting. I, I don't know. It just seems like you guys would never... Yep, far, far. Good job, Lee. Yeah, Lee, you did a really good job. Well, I don't know. Okay, so now how do I put a PowerPoint up? To okay, share? so you're going to go to screen share.
We practiced at the beginning. Just do share screen. Mm -hmm. And then you select on your second monitor wherever you have your Okay. There's no audio, right? It's just a picture. Yep. Does everybody have a second monitor besides me? Rob. <laughs> yes. I don't. <laughs> and Jane. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. There left to right. Yes. California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, oh. Nebraska, Iowa, oh. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. Wow, Connecticut, wow. Massachusetts, Damn. Iowa, I'm sure of that. Okay. Apologies to Mike. All right, yeah, I gotta go through this. The line? Yeah, yeah that the would line? be helpful. Where's the line? Or at least the dot oh, where the island okay, is. Okay, hold on. Here's the. This is very interesting, Lee. Thank you. Yeah, it yeah. is. Really, I, okay, I, I this is this is a they call a cylindrical projection, which shows where the line actually goes. And so you can see it just picks up a tiny bit. California, Nevada, Utah. I'm not seeing no, a line. We see no line. We're not Let's seeing see. whatever you're okay, talking hold about. Hold on. Let me try <laughs> nice, you guys. Nice, nice, nice. We can't see the line. This is Drawing with a pencil I have it. a question. Yeah. Why isn't West Virginia included? He's going to show us when we see yeah. the line, Faith. What's... Hold on. I'm trying to figure out why it won't take that. Unshare. And they, because okay. it, there's no there's no part of it. The other those states all have at least a part of it in uh, yeah. uh, nor, uh north of Canada or north you of the have, island. Uh, Lee, you might want to unshare and then reshare. I'm, I'm surprised New Jersey of West Virginia between and ignore Ohio everybody and else who's talking right now. And you need to reshare your whole screen, not a tab. That's yeah. Uh, Susan, you can stop the screen share. So, Faith, there is a portion between Ohio and Pennsylvania that, you know, is above West, uh, West Virginia. That's where the line is probably when we see it. Well, you can see you can see right above Ohio is where that's <laughs> that's Lake Erie there. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be it would have to be West Virginia would have to at least stick up into yeah. the into the lake. Yeah, yeah, West oh, Virginia right. wasn't quite as excited as we would. New hoping. Jersey is really close, though. Wow, it's a New slight Jersey curve. I think. Really close. I can't get it. Just let me share. Because I don't see how it picks up Connecticut. If you're if you're an admin, you should be able to un make the share stop. Or Terminate the share. Or share I, your I, screen. I'd be interested. I Lee, share your I screen share and then stop sharing yours. That's Lee. How can you Lee? Are you able yeah. to show us where that island is? Actually, I'd be curious to see where that is, exactly where the island is. I'm looking at a map of Lake Erie. Yeah, and the, the only island I found was um, okay, almost go. well. It's almost due south of Detroit. It's a little bit east, but kind of in that little general. It's vicinity. probably the metric system. That's why. If you, if you um, look very carefully at this globe here, you'll see it. Oh, I think the world of that globe, Ron. <laughs> Lee, Lee, could you just share the list when you get a minute so that we can score yeah, that thing? I'm trying to get back to my original PowerPoint. Right. Right. Oh, great. There you yes. go. There. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh there's can you the big, Can you big it, please? Big it, big it, big it, enlarge it. That's Are what you she a, said. He's a bigot. Make it bigly. Not on. Make it bigly. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Paula, I like your hair. Oh, thanks. But I thought you had blue eyes. You got contacts on. Um, <laughs> I just need to play with you know the uh, the realistic of these avatars. <laughs> but do you like my sense. Futurama? <laughs> That's better. I try and make it bigger, the screen starts to screw up. But Detroit. Oh, this is Carl. According to Wikipedia, the... the Detroit Windsor Tunnel. <laughs> What's Boy, the name of the island again? Barely touches uh, California. Yeah, barely touches California. Barely. Or yeah. Nevada and... Uh, and um, Utah. I'm really Utah, surprised they hit yeah. Rhode Island and Connecticut, especially I Rhode Island. Just, yeah. just looked up California Oregon borders at 41.99 uh, north, 
And so 41.7 is below that, which is why. Yeah. I just didn't realize Mich Michigan is totally north. Well yeah. done, Lee. Well done. Very good job. Larger. That's how you do it, folks. A little larger. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a bunch of better. It looks like, uh, hey, uh, Ronnie, uh, 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 Toronto is really pretty far farther north than uh, Chicago. I'm surprised. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah. Jeez, oh, I almost goes through my hometown. <laughs> Actually, that's New, truck New Jersey is closer to it than I thought it would be. Oh, that's probably Medford, huh? If you want to be really surprised, look at how far north Europe is compared to the United States. Yeah. 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 I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. The thing that always gets me, and I, I didn't know until the first time I went to South America to Ecuador, how far east, east the whole continent America. is to the United States. Yeah, the time zones are all weird down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, are, we are on the west coast, of South, west coast of South They're America. Weird. They're on the United Texas. States. So do the toilets <laughs> flush backwards if you go north of this line? <laughs> South of the line, and no, they don't. <laughs> I'm talking about metric toilets in Canada. Metric we, toilets. we did not notice any difference in the way that toilets flush. Right. Did you so Lee, know, staring at Lee, what are you predicting our average will be, Lee? <laughs> you you guys did really well. I, I don't know. I think probably seven, eight. Lee, uh -huh. Lee could you post the list? Because I can't score yeah, it's, it. It's in there, isn't it? It's in the chat? Thought, I thought I put it in the chat. Yeah. Uh, you it may helped. have sent it to somebody directly because it's not in the general chat. Yeah, it's not in our okay, chat. Let me send it again. Make sure it says to every, make sure it says to everyone before. Yeah, you it hit. does. It says everyone in meeting. It's checked. Hit hit enter. Sometimes it just there it goes. There we are. There we go. Oh, oh excellent. Okay. Thanks. Sometimes Beautiful. it's sitting there and just waiting from the. Yeah. My... Sorry, I'm still a rookie. You're doing oh, fine. No uh, you're Congrats. good at this stuff. Very good rookie eyesing. Yes, rookie Isaac, rookie, rookie of the year. That could have so some the next fun time with you this do one. it, Lee, we're not going to be so nice. I could have some fun with this one, unless I, it's I category. Can... When you do a category, we'll have to be nice to you again. But <laughs> I bet it, I could we, win get some bar bets. we get over it, we get over it. Yeah, you can win bar bets on this, Kevin. I think I could. Oh, yeah, my brother will not will never believe that Mass, Connecticut, and Rhode Island mm -hmm. are north of any point in Canada. And California too. That that surprised me. Yeah, that really surprised me. Yeah. it's right. It's it's, it's a whole part. Part. It's, I have yeah. to admit, when I was searching around for things geographical, yeah, well, I came across this and I went, "Good Lord, California, yeah. Nevada, and Utah." Great. Yeah, it really. No, not very you have much. Have a link in to it so I could put that in my notes. A link to right. what you were looking at, Lee. California is north of it only by about oh. twelve seconds. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Lee? What the heck, uh, though? Lee? You know, I, uh, just here, here's before the thing I get to the I Oregon found, border, I can go, yeah. what he has, but oh, Carl? that's what I found when I was looking after the round. Thank you. All right. That's great. Let's go over to scores and see how we all did. That'll be great. Let's see what we did. All right. So, oh, before we get over there, I want to ask you. Lee, what did you think of being able to go through each room and, and ask questions and, I mean, watch everybody it, talk? It was definitely interesting. I, um, you know, it's, it's like you said, you know, keep mute, don't say anything. And it's, you know, it sounds like, felt like I was playing poker <laughs> and, trying, and trying not to smile or give it away. So, yeah. Yeah. It was easy when they were wearing masks a few weeks back. Right. Well, yeah. you can use there is a filter on your on your Zoom yeah. that allows you to put something over your face. Yeah. So yeah. you could try that. That that works out well. Okay. So let's go over to the scores. Or you can just use an avatar like Paul and I are doing, and uh, people you can't really read your facial filter. expression. How do you get those? Where do you get those, right those avatars? Maybe avatar of a, 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 a llama head. In mine, you go into more. And you've got more? background effects and avatars. More M O R E. Yes. More. There's no under more. like the bottom. I'm on my phone, but there's more with three dots, and I can go into that to make backgrounds. And so the goal of our trivia game is to learn to use Zoom well. That's always been my goal. All right. So here we go. So let's go with our scores. 
Oh, I think it was the other way around before. Yeah, I think it was. Well, okay. Putin declares all Russian patriots will go to heaven. Heaven applies for NATO membership. No, they've been, okay. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, make America think again. Six. Well, that didn't help any. Um, and <laughs> Putin, Russia, jogging app steps on you. I believe we also got six, if I got my count correct. That's what I got. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> RFK says water makes you gay. Ten. Whoa. Vermont petitions government to sell water to California. And nine. Oh, high score. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look, so at that. look at that. Dang. Ah, very good. A tie. We should have make him do a a, a dance off. Do you have a tiebreaker? No, I don't have a tiebreaker. We never have not. ties. It's like soccer. We allow ties. Yeah, we're okay with that. Nobody wins anything anyway. Okay, I want. Oh. Bye. <laughs> who was David Pallades? He was the man who invented a conspiracy theory called Missing Four One One, which is in started out with state parks that people go missing at a higher rate than normal in state parks. Oh. And he came out with this thing. He was a Bigfoot hunter, right, Kyle? Yeah, he he actually wrote books about it and contributed to you know trying to prove he thinks he did prove that Bigfoot is real. <laughs> well, we saw him. Good night, I went to Santa Cruz. Good night. Yeah, yeah. Sure yeah. Did, yeah. I really went there too. Yeah, I don't went know there too. Kyle's not here. The really Hi, Ron. Happy travels. Bye. Well, I'll be Susan. I'll be here next week. Then I'm gone. Okay. You don't get rid of me that fast. Okay. Susan, Good night, the guys. Good Bye, night. Alan. I am um, the really weird thing about Kyle. Good night, Adrian. Uh, Kyle is Kyle here? Is Kyle Kyle's not here. The well, really right. weird thing about he David right Pollard, there. Adrian's still here. No, I said it's Kyle here. Kyle is blacked out. He's and not he's answering, so I don't think he's here. Um the really weird thing about Polites is he is a Trumper and a far far right conspiratorialist on everything. And you don't know that unless you follow his Twitter account, which I do. Every day he posts stuff that is unbelievable about the deep state and we have to arrest Biden and why they're going after Trump. It's every freaking thing like that. You know amazing. what's really weird is watching you talk about that with your avatars on the moon. That, is, that just freaks me out. <laughs> it is just not right. That ain't right. That's weird. That's, that's all right here i am so yeah so it's really weird and i didn't know that side of him until i i said let's see what he does on on twitter it's like wow it's it's Some people are just attention whores you know what i mean that's an insult to whores <laughs> <laughs> i cannot believe that workers. word came out of karen's mouth sorry karen <laughs> what's crazy is when i was researching for some of our national park trips this uh his type of stuff was actually popping up in the algorithm. Oh, like wow. weird missing people in the parks. And mm. I clicked on a couple of them and was just like, this is not what I thought it was. Let's get out of it. But and some of the people aren't missing. That's a, it's, it's so bizarre. Like they found yeah. them. We had, we had some uh, serial killers in Freetown, Mass. There was a dropping point where hitchhikers were getting picked up. They were prostitutes and they were dumping the bodies in Freetown State Forest. Had nothing to do with anything Bigfoot related, but it was just probably added statistics to his thing. And it happened mm -hmm. over a period of like 10 years. They, I don't think they ever caught the person, but they were, if they did, it didn't make major news or something. But they, it was the Freetown State Forest uh, murders or whatever they called it. They kept finding dead people there. Then we had one not too far from here at a truck stop. And it's like every time they, they make the news, people have these different theories. So now there's supposed to be some serial killers who drive trucks and, and drop the bodies at a different location. So they have all these theories. They pick up a prostitute at one truck stop and then kill them and leave them at another one. So but the, why is why is um, this person? I mean, you, you stopped re uh, re recording and we talked about something and now we're recording and we're talking about it. Is that OK? I yeah. don't care. It's just, that, I just don't want to why, is, why, why is he mentioned so much in that article? Because he's the expert on David. Uh, ah, got it. He gave a talk to Monterey County skeptics. Kyle gave a talk to Monterey County skeptics. And when he did, well, 
we were all the skeptics in our group were like, well, who, what are you talking about? And then he did the talk when he was done. I said, you know what? You should write that up for skeptical inquire. He did. And that once it's on skeptical inquire, then it could be added to a Wikipedia page. And then that was it. We get hate mail and all kinds of stuff about it all the time. <laughs> so, so Susan, when, when I didn't notice this, when did the um, banners get put at the top about containing origin or it's, it does say March, but who did this? possibly contains original research and relies too much on primary sources. I don't know. I don't think any of that's true. So what's well, the heck? reason why the reason why I turned off the video is because I didn't want I don't want people I don't want anybody to see my watch. What, list. what do you mean you turned off the video? I when I was showing my watch list on Wikipedia, yeah. I turned off the video. Okay. You you're, you're, still, you're still recording us. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just don't want people to see my watch list and what Okay, so like. I'm asking, I'm looking at the page now and it says and both of these were placed a few months ago. This article possibly contains original research. And I hate when they do this because there's no description of what they're talking about, possibly. And also relies too much on references to primary sources. Which ones? Oh, what this just happened. About? I hate it when people go and they tag these yep. articles. It's so stupid because it's like, just fix it. Don't go in there and tag well, it. I don't, I don't know that there's anything leave a, leave actually a good that matches explanation those statements. Of what the problem is. Yeah. yeah. Just leaving some vague... There's something wrong with this article. Well, tell us, tell us so we can fix it. No, I don't know. It's been left since March. I'm just, it's on my watch list. I don't, I don't edit it, but it's just still there for some reason. So what happens 10 years from now when someone, when you're not watching it or 20 years from now? Yeah, who knows? Well, we'll have AI to help us with all that stuff. Somebody oh, else will watch it. Done. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Wikipedia is just a mystery. It's it's changed a lot since I started editing in like 2010. So who knows where it'll be in 20. I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now. Yeah, well, it, it, it so used powerful. to be a mess. Now it's much, much better. <laughs> so, so this original research really annoys me because the original research is, hey, you know, somebody adds an item. Hey, I was followed home by a UFO and they put that on Wikipedia. That's original research. Not uh there's an article published in and a reliable source which is quoted here which is all i see so what the hell are they talking about well there's an awful lot of editors on this page so i wouldn't get jump into this let them well i i'm not going to do it but <laughs> no because i'm banned from doing it to get yeah. the details here but frankly but um somebody else should fix this or, or at least put but the question in the same problem at least put the question on talk have somebody do that like okay explain what this is or we're going to take the banner off go for it no i don't want to get involved we got the wikipedia page in as good a shape as possible mm -hmm. for the moment i hate the banner but whatever i hate my own wikipedia page i think it's crap so well yeah that's because somebody came along and like butchered it they came along and butchered it, and then they had a Wikipedia editor write it who was some hero in the Wikipedia world who died right after writing it. What? Mm -hmm. The woman who wrote it was some amazing editor, and everybody was like, oh, that's the last thing she ever did. So nobody's ever going to touch it. So, so you killed her. <laughs> you put a hex on them. That's what I'm hearing. I didn't touch it. I don't have nothing to do with that. The only thing I yeah, would do is upload was Salem. photos. If you were in Salem, you would be. Yeah, right yeah. Now. I'm not. I'm not Peggy. She touched your page and she died. <laughs> Poor Peggy. That's what I heard. <laughs> Poor Peggy. The I haven't witches, killed anybody in years. The witches of Wikipedia. A year. I haven't killed anybody in a whole year, Peggy. Is that a what you're saying? A year and a half. A year and a half. Okay, it's been a year since and a half since Peggy. That's Betty White, right? Betty White. I tell you, Peggy. And who was the next one? We only killed two. We always exaggerate. Who was the other one? There's two, I think, two weeks in a row. That's why it was so memorable. Yeah, it was weird. There's a typo on your page. Oh, you can fix it, Karen. A misspelling. Fix it. Just fix, fix it. Fix it, Karen. You can fix it. I I'm can't. doing it. I have okay. I'll figure it out. Well, look at her. She's gonna fix Wikipedia. Okay, let me see. They spelled Fremont School wrong. Oh, <gasps> Fremont. Okay. Oh yeah, you know, I think I remember see, seeing that. Log everybody in. see the meme. Everybody see the meme. You can. Uh, you can, uh, it was like a, the house is on fire. You can only save two. And it had like Trump and DeSantis and and uh, all these different Republicans. And then it had tacos and pizza. 
and Marcus everybody pizza. picks tacos and pizza. <laughs> I'd be throwing, i throw gas on the fire. You it know, it's funny, funny when people say, I don't, you know, they'll say somebody said something about Trump getting ill or something happening to him and he goes but i don't wish anything anything like that on him, anybody and i'm like well, what <laughs> i wish it on him doesn't mean it's gonna come true but it's just like yeah i wish i wish it i would be fine with that if he if he was <laughs> clinging to the mountainside and his hands were there and he's going help me susan i'd be like stepping on his hands i'm sorry no <laughs> yeah but you can't say that or and on on Facebook oh, or anything, because then right. the, the then they show up at your door, you know. Oh, that's true. And you can't say stuff like that. that. So, what's yeah. wrong with the spelling of Fremont, Karen? F R E M O N T. I just changed it. It had two E's, and I changed it to one. I just oh, it's Fre it. so it's Fremont, Fremont. I just oh. changed it. Yeah, I, I saw the change. I didn't know it was spelled two E's or was wrong. So it's Fremont Elementary. No, it's pronounced yeah. Fremont. Uh, okay. Fremont. I think it's been yeah. with only one E. Yeah, the Explorer oh. in early California. I changed so, it. Hey, I did a Wikipedia change. So <laughs> what 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 the citation on that is Susan. Oh, you reporting. sure did. Yeah. It's not Fremont, like a F R E E. Mm. What what Rob? The the citation for that is your recording of saying something, which I can't listen to right now, but so in the recording, did you talk about it? Yeah, my my uh, the Susan Gerbic voice. So that that's it, what happened. Like background a... to mm -hmm. who to these yeah. things because I mean, who's going to write about Fremont School? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. This is a hundred years ago, as far as I know. I don't. I don't know. Just absolutely. It's oh god. I don't even look at this page. It's so awful. Just let me. It, it no. I have no pride in what that looks like. Because it just looks like it's, it's wrong. It's not Good right. Night. It's time for Wordle. Good night. <laughs> oh no, we must go. Are you really still doing it? Wordle? I thought that was over. Oh, no. I've got a perfect score going for over 106 uh, days. Wow, excellent. Oh boy. Let me write that down. <laughs> I'm trying to beat a guy that's over 200. He wow. made a mistake. What do you get? So, nothing. Just just because he's bragging about right. it. You get the same thing you yeah. get by winning trivia with you, Susan. Well, at least we're yeah. recording it. I've played 544 games, Susan. And what are your stats? <laughs> oh, I have 538. I'm pretty well, close. We also I'm went close. to 12 years of regular school, and maybe some of us did a few years of other school. And, you know, we, what, yeah. What's that to do with Wordle? What's that have to do with what do you get when you get done? Yeah, <laughs> yeah trivia. You get a diploma. Oh, you get a useless Maybe. Paper. Not everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. The Wordle conversation is fascinating, and Susan is enjoying it. But you know, I will talk <laughs> All right. We'll do it again I'm tomorrow. I'm going to go and play with another video. So I have a new video up, you guys. You might want to check it out. It's got 28 views already. Oh, that's something. You got all the categories planned for next week, right? Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Good night, all. You're on all night. Okay. Hey. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody. everybody. I promise Bye. I won't do company Bye. logos. <laughs>